some of you might not know about the drama we're going to cover today, even though I've done a great number of segments on it, essentially. Or rather, I've done a great number of segments on the content of a fellow called Card Posting. He has a series of videos about right-wing dog whistles trying to uh, educate his fellow leftists on what to keep an eye out for. The problem we ran into looking at his videos about dog whistles was that, one, many of his examples of dog whistles were not dog whistles. For instance, he called people saying, referring to wood chippers in responses to things on social media, a dog whistle, a secret mes message that they intend harm or wish harm upon the person. It's not a dog whistle because it's just that at face value, right? It's going to be an example of a horrible person and then someone underneath says, like, rev up those wood chippers. It's not a secret what they mean. It's not a hidden, ooh, code language. No, they mean throw him in the wood chipper. It was also very strange in that video because not once were child mentioned as a target of the wood chipper. With how they wanted to get rid of anyone and everyone they don't like, such as queer people or people of colour. Throwing those people into a wood chipper quickly became a popular alt-right meme in those sorts of spaces. Some other ones definitely used as dog whistles, noticer, noticing, described somewhat strangely. One of the episodes of his dog whistle explanation series was about clapperboards, and he said he was warning of a potential future troll dog whistle that was growing on image boards. That seems like a very silly choice for a dog whistle explained video, especially since your explained dog whistle video could turn it into a meme. You could become the origin of its uh, popularization. Very strange stuff. You have never seen the clapperboard thing. Neither have I. And this card guy's explanation of why he did it was that he thought it could be pushed or could blow up. Very strange choice. Very strange choice when there are so many things you could use as examples. I remember his uh, how would you feel if you hadn't had breakfast video being, being strange and all over the place. Generally, card postings videos, not very good. I watched a bunch of his videos. We laughed at them. We made fun of them when, we were, when they were wrong. Once or twice, once or twice, I think he got things right or made a fair point. We gave him credit. But overwhelmingly, poor videos from this guy called Card Posting. You would think that this would mean I would be sort of on the side or aligned with anyone else who makes fun of Card Posting's content or tries to debunk Card Posting's content or insults it or, or finds it to be bad in general. You'd think a fellow laugher at the same content, I'd have some common ground with them. But another YouTuber, Alec Gunter, who you may have seen, you may have seen, he tries to get spotlights on him. He has gone to events of people like Matt Walsh and, and you know, tried to like confront him as a, as a question asker from the audience. I'm an RN from the state of Ohio, and I drove all the way here just so I could ask you a medical question. I don't have to answer your question. Who's, who's so, asking? Are you guys in line for no, a question I, or to be asked a question? I, I, you may be familiar with the Jubilee channel that holds panels where they'll, they'll have a topic and they'll split the people. One side of the room is people who, who are one side of the argument. The other side is the other side of the argument. They might be like, are you pro-life or pro-choice? I believe the episode he was on was... I think they present it as a statement and then it's agree or disagree. And this Alec Gunter fellow was on one of those episodes. He was on one of those episodes alongside Destiny. Yeah, I, I kind of leveled out, thankfully, and I'm less cringe now. Did you? Are you? I cringed. Yeah. This is leveled yeah. out. Imagine if we would have been here a year ago. You yeah. can, I mean, maybe, maybe I am being cringe. Who cares? I haven't watched the episode, but that's just context as to uh, who this other person who, like me, took issue with Card's videos. However, he took issue from a somewhat different angle. He took issue from the angle of, I'm a fellow leftoid, you card are cringe, you make us look bad. He didn't just discuss the videos being wrong, 
he didn't just comment about Card's presentation, because as I'm sure you will see, Card's presentation a bit intense. We'll see later. He 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 does look a bit reminiscent of uh, Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. He has the whole like mega stare into the camera thing with little eye flicks away to read a script. Not very good. Not to say I haven't done the same, uh, but every one of his video is that. And he's in he's in uh, he's in a garage, which doesn't look horrible, but you know. Not the classiest the backgrounds, so if you care about the way things look. This Alec Gunter guy, somehow, despite the many flaws in card postings videos, fumbled horribly, I would say. I would say that's fair, yes? He fumbled his critique of card postings videos horribly when it should have been so, so, so easy. He tried to tackle a video saying friends is a dog whistle they should keep your keep an eye out for. That it is something you should look for if people are coming into your spaces and using the term friends, ooh, watch out. Of course, if you've been online, I feel like you must if you if you're in any sort of political corner online and you've looked around at the internet, you will have seen rightoids. You would have seen extreme rightoids using the word friends. The obvious criticism, though, is that tons of people who aren't rightoids use the word friends. And any rightoid using the word friends is not like a secret signal. You know, and we know, that right-wingers and extreme right-wingers use the word friends because all the fucking other content on their feed and what they're posting and what they're saying makes it obvious. So it's not a dog whistle, it's just uh, it's just a meme or aesthetic or whatever you want to call it that they adopt because they like it. It's stylistic, not a secret message. That's the simple criticism of it. Instead, Ben, thank you for the 100 bits. <laughs> I do not have a horse folder. I just put them all on my desktop. And when my desktop gets full, I delete all of them and start collecting horse cocks again. So anyway, this Gunter guy, his approach was like to say, I've never seen a right winger. Say this. Hmm. And then he just did a Twitter search on friends. Some memes popped up that included Peepo with a thought bubble that was like, should I say good morning or should I just start spewing racial slurs? And he just sort of plays over it. It's like, what are you doing? <laughs> I'm. These are kind of funny to me. Kind of funny to me. He didn't really even clash on a meaningful level with what Card was saying. Just, just claimed his ignorance meant he was right about whether that was a dog whistle or not. Strange. Terrible performance. Terrible performance. He also made similar comments to me, that uh, Card is a bit... Card is a bit intense. His presentation and whatnot. He went maybe a bit further than me. I compared... I compared this card posting guy to Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. And I maintain that. He, he literally looks like that. The Alec Gunter guy went so far as to say he looks like a serial killer. What else did he say? Oh yeah, he said he said he seems like uh, he'd be a real asshole to be around, be horrible to be around and whatnot. Maybe got slightly, slightly personal in tone. Now, that's true, true, true. Nicandros brings up brings up another another element in that Alec Gunter used card posting's face for the thumbnail, an unflattering snap, which is fine. So shots were fired initially by Alec Gunter. He came across this internet weirdo card posting. Pretty weird dude, if you've seen our reacts. Pretty weird dude. Videos that I think are poorly argued, poorly presented, so on and so forth. But Alec Gunter shot the first drama shot. He took a swipe. Card posting, if you missed it, shocked us all. Card posting shot back with a 13 minute video titled Alec Gunter is very wrong about dog whistles and me. Now, for some of this video, it became apparent that Alec and card posting were talking past one another. Some of Alec's points, card posting effectively responded to and shot down. However, where card posting shocked us all was on the topic of optics. Alec 
Gunter's main point about why he doesn't like card posting and what card posting is doing. His main point was, this is a bad look for the online left. He's going to do damage to the online left. Something like that. Here's card posting's response to that point. You shouldn't be commenting on how anyone else's video background looks or calling them fragile lefty stereotypes. Your setup looks like this. Between the hipster beard and the flannel shirt and the slack jaw and the glasses and the pink lighting and the gamer chair and the fact you call yourself a leftist variety streamer, if you are more familiar with reactionary online terminology, you might know this all forms an archetype that a lot of people call the soy new male bug man. Thankfully though, it's good you're not every time about this kind of stuff, so you won't know it's meant to be derogatory. Alec Gunter did not like that. Alec Gunter was exposed to card posting's true power level. Following that, he responded to this video, tried to play off having received that analysis, that comment, that uh, deconstruction of his very essence by card posting. Card posting made another response, attacking Alec Gunter's intelligence. Now, I think it is this clip right here. This was card posting, taking a toothpick and with a hammer, banging it into Alec Gunter's head. Banging into his head. Because despite card posting saying in his next video after this, responding to Alec Gunter's response, to his response, sorry, gets a bit convoluted, card said he would no longer be dealing with Alec. Alec couldn't let go. He couldn't let go. And myself and others who are in the audience right now, we decided to watch as Alec discussed his little uh, investigation. Alec expressed to his community that he thought card posting was, was a real, real problem for the online left. He said, quote, or paraphrase, it's very close to what he said though. He said he needs to he needs to nip card posting's channel in the bud. Alec Gunter's goal is not to win this little bitch slap fight. He wants to annihilate Card. He wants to destroy him. To that end, Alec Gunter decided to dig. My understanding, my understanding is that through a collection of, I think, people coming to him, him looking on Kiwi Farms and the LGBT board on 4chan that he knows card posting frequents, getting in contact with organizations that card posting has done work with, he went through that. Ah, and there was, there was a YouTube comment on his initial video that all oh, combat amongst people who came to him. Alec Gunter went digging for dirt with which he could nip card posting's channel in the bud. Now, without even watching that video, for a man concerned with the appearance of the online left on YouTube, this behavior is pretty demented. At face value, I would say this behavior alone is not a good look. Kind of fucked up and weird. But he did it. And uh, who knows? Who knows? Maybe Card is dangerous. Because I haven't looked through the information Alec Gunter got. I'll admit right now that I've seen a couple fragments of the information Alec Gunter got. Uh, and what I know so far is that an acquaintance of Card posting told Alec Gunter that he smells bad. I'm gonna be honest, that doesn't set the tone for a hardcore takedown with me. But, but, on Tuesday, Alec Gunter went live with an expose stream. The live stream in which he revealed all of the digging, all the, the fruit of all of his digging, all of the information he gathered to annihilate card posting with. The stream segment, I believe, is about an hour and one minute long. Following the end of the stream, Alec Gunter deleted it. I'm not sure if this is standard practice for him or not. However, it is wiped. It is gone. And today, 
In three hours, Alec Gunter is going to upload an edited version of the segment in which he uh, exposed Card. I don't think I'll be watching that, boys and girls. Because, thanks to Newest Whaler and Nick Andros, I have a full recording of the live expose attempt that Nicandros very kindly went through and censored to make Twitch safe because while, oh, to be clear, Newest Whaler recorded it, Nicandros censored it to make it safe for Twitch. My understanding is, and I, on their advice, I haven't watched it. I have been told not to spoil myself and that it will be worth going in blind for the live reaction to God knows what happens. However, my my understanding is there is a reason for him deleting it. <laughs> Perhaps am I am I correct, Nick Andrews and Whaler? The two of you have watched it. There is a there is apparently a reason for him to delete it. Perhaps more than one reason for him to make this stream go away. <laughs> Sorry, this um you mean uh by the way to be clear, the stream he wanted to go away is, um, this one? <laughs> so I hope, I hope you have not, I hope you have not overhyped this for me. I hope you have not overhyped this for me. Now, my understanding is the solution for the things he needed to make go away on Nicandros' part is a pixelation filter, is a blur, is censoring things on screen. I'm not gonna lie and say I'm completely blind. I've seen I've seen chat talking about it. I've seen the people who are privy to it talking about it. I believe he accidentally puts things on screen that you would not want on screen on a stream. And I believe he shared identities he was supposed to very much not share. Is that uh is that about right? Am I in the right ballpark? I went <laughs> That would be correct. I see, I see, I see. Very good. Like the little goblin creature in the bottom left. Am I aware of Vosh's horse weenie obsession? I'm quite aware of it, and I have been aware for years. I didn't know that people didn't know, because even as someone who has never watched a Vosh video, that knowledge has been circulating social media very heavily for years. Right. This is the one hour, one minute segment in which Alec Gunter presented his case for the total annihilation of card posting. TCD. This is Alec Gunter's attempt at TCD. Total card posting death. His explicit stated goal is that he wants card posting gone. He wants the channel nipped in the bud, killed before it has a chance to grow. Which I think is curious because it implies he believes it has the potential to grow into something more. Um, which I think is quite interesting. I guess we just, uh, wow. How do you, how do we, how do I, yeah, how do I dive into this? I guess we just start going. Expose, baby. Baby. For all the LGBT 4 channers, get over to. He is referring to the, the LGBT board that card posting is known to frequent. I wonder if he posted a link on LGBT. <laughs> I believe I mentioned this before we started watching, but Alec Gunter tried to reach out to card posting through various avenues. I, I think he, he messaged on YouTube. I think he commented on YouTube. He said he posted on the LGBT board on the basis that he knows card frequents it. He told card that he wanted to have a friendly little chat, a friendly little chat about one of his videos. We went over this when it happened, but Alec Gunter very clearly was trying to bait card posting into a live trap. He very much wanted to get card into a live discussion to talk about a video where card said some un PC things. The, the thrust of which is card suggested just, oh, just say you're a woman when you're not a woman to get benefits. So on and so forth. I believe card posting was clumsily trying to make some kind of point. But didn't didn't land it. But anyway, uh, Card did not take the bait, and since Card did not take the bait, this is what Alec Gunter moved on to. He he played his hand after that message that I just mentioned, trying to bait him into a discussion. Alec Gunter dropped all pretense of good faith and friendliness, and has said he wants to annihilate 
card posting, and this is his attempt to do so. My uh, uh, sight. Join the fun. Be on the screen. Come on, let cards see you. What are you doing? Get let cards see you. Let him. I don't think card watched. I'll let you know why I don't think card watched it. I don't believe card watched it because we have secret agents in the chat. In fact, we have double and triple agents in the chat. Following this stream, someone in the chat reached out to card posting and informed him that Alec Gunter did this. Card posting expressed his appreciation at being given that knowledge and uh, didn't allude to being aware of it, which I guess is kind of strange. You would have thought he would have gotten Alec Gunter's uh, YouTube comment at least, but I guess I guess Alec Gunter didn't say he was doing this in any of communications with uh, with cards. So yeah, hmm. so we're starting off with a little bit of cringe in that Alec Gunter is talking about let card see you, thinking that card is watching. Well, I don't think he did. See what you have to say. Let's go. Come on. If it goes crazy, thank you. I know. All the way down to the hat, right? What graphics card is this music in Katamari? Like, this is, is the one I got when I first built it like six years ago. This is unedited, by the way. There will be random. It's free. It's free. Chatter. It's free and it's easy. Get if this seems amazing to you, by the way, you can pay one dollar to see the edited version early over on Alec Gunter's Patreon. He he streams, makes little highlight videos like I do, and like Ashrad cuts up for me as well. And then puts the edited highlight behind a one dollar paywall wall for a while, and then puts it on his YouTube for free. I need to step it up. I'm not milking you guys enough. Get over there, just uh, mind the rules. I know, I know you four channers. I know you edge lords. Mind the rules. Behave yourselves. But Jesus welcome. Christ, stop it. I mean, I've. Is that a ah! frog? Is that a Pepe frog? I think you're not. I think you're not. That's a dog whistle! That's a dog whistle! Get out of here! Haha. <laughs> <laughs> so funny. So funny. Little bit of lore on card posting. Card posting posts Pepe's. I'm not gonna tell you where, but despite... You're gonna carry that gun tell. Hell yeah, brother. Everyone throw up a salvo, please. Despite card posting's neurotic self-presentation, I don't think he's as high strung as he comes off in his YouTube videos. I'm not sure. Get out of here! How dare you! They love Pepe in Thailand, by the way, apparently. Uh, Alright, let's get into it. It's time, it's finally time. Oh. The time has come, folks. Trigger, trigger warning, trigger warning. This is going to be as brutal as, you know, like an ISIS execution. This man is about to decapitate John David Card. Don't worry, that's not like a, a crazy secret docs. Card posting is open with his name. John David Card. Who is he? What does he want? Why is he here? All questions that we would love to have answered. Now, for those who may be confused, John David Card, also known as Card Posting, is somebody that I came across quite recently. He was he had a video on my front that, page. That's our boy. As you can see, I have many tabs open. Many. Many tabs open. And we're going to get into all of them. So strap in, folks. We got a fun ride for you, all right? Fun. To be fair, like, here's, you can see immediately, the wall isn't a dog whistle. I don't think it's meant to be a secret communication tool. It's just the concept used. Fun, fun ride. So here's card posting for you. This is Mr. John David Card. Now, John David Card set out to do a uh, an interesting, uh, exper not experiment, an interesting project, basically. He does. He has the Dog Whistle series. Okay. And you in fact, I've got to say, I'm not even sure what he calls the wall in the Dog Whistle video. My understanding is it's that it's age 30 if you're female. You can see my lovely face right there. We'll get into that in a second. So he does this Dog Whistle series, and I happened upon one of his videos called Dog Whistles 101, Friends, right? So, um... True so far. I, I wanted to watch it. I wanted to go over it on my stream and just give my honest thoughts on it. And if you'd like to go see that video, uh, you can go watch that. This is the third Wouldn't video in the trilogy, it. by the way. We're ending strong, okay? We're ending strong. Oh, he thinks this right? is so, his so end. that's the okay. first video in the trilogy. Now, he responded then, all right? He responded to my response 
in which he said basically that I'm an idiot and I don't know what I'm talking about, mm -hmm. right? I really went into that thinking that he would respond with an open heart and open mind and good intentions. I did. I, I gave him... I hope he's joking, because in the same way that card posting here gave Gunter the, uh, the soy face treatment, the unflattering image treatment, Alec Gunter shot first. He better be open about that. Give him the benefit of the doubt, you know what I mean? So, I was disappointed. I was just disappointed. You know, let me give you a little sampling, all right? Community organizer. Now, as you can see from the serial killer vibes, um, the, uh, you know, he, he, he has a, a way with words, a way with an audience. As you as already, you, can see here, you already did that line. Okay? Come up with a new one. Um, let me give you a little, uh, sampling of what he had to say about me. Like how a reactionary would try to discredit someone trying to bring attention to right wing dogs. Wait. Absolutely, buddy. What with, of course. Like this... a concept can't be real because he doesn't understand it. And needlessly calling someone he- Why would you play this? Why is- Why is Gunter playing his own execution video? Disagrees with an asshole. The ball, not the man. I'm sorry, no, this is fixable. This is fixable. All I said was back away from the fucking camera and fix your fucking background. This is all fixable. He looks fine as a person. All I said is back away from the camera, one, fix your background, two. This is all fixable. Right now- Mm, dog, I'm pretty sure you said serial killer vibes. Now it's serial killer vibes. I'm not backing off of that. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure, bro, you said that in your first video, not just this one. Fuck me. Right down to the way he chose to make his video's thumbnail, an unflattering screenshot of me mid-sentence, yeah. surrounded by some all-caps text missing the point entirely. Just make a quick, make a quick comparison, okay? I, there's some distance. We got the lights in the background that are better at night. All right, granted. But, you know, I got some decorations up. It's not a fucking garage, okay? It doesn't feel like I'm about to get tortured. Yeah, but a garage being disordered is fine. Your living room... Like, they're both internet fucking weirdos! But a disorganized living room is worse than a disorganized garage. I think that's simple. You can't win on this point, brother. Stop it. If he could at least explain himself and be like, I simply don't have any other option but to do this shitty setup, then I'd get it. But he didn't. He didn't bother explaining that. But this is how he I chooses to present himself. He made the remarks that I look like I couldn't take a metaphorical. What was the deal with making your thumbnail like that? Like what? I thought this was a masterpiece. What's wrong with it? Out of me, mid sentence. Is this he... classic meme format? Impact. Is he genuinely gonna pretend like he didn't shoot first? Stop it. It's font meme format. It's great. Surround and tell you that what you've said is absolutely moronic. See? Furthermore, there we go. you aren't going to build coalitions with anyone. The streaming is not engaging in mass politics. In fact, yeah, I'm not, I'm not coalition building, by the way. Is. If you were in so much as a fortnightly tenants union meeting, or were sitting in on the planning committee of your local pride parade, and you couldn't go 10 minutes without calling people you disagree with assholes like that, you would be firmly told to leave. So yeah, as you can see, this man has been doing many things in real life. Ooh, okay. Is he, is, is he going to turn out to have been a fraud? Is Card going to turn out to be a fake? Is that where he's going? I can crank it a little bit, sure. Anyway, we're going to move on to the next part of this discussion. So what? he made a response. To, so I made a response to that. And then he made another response. Right. And that's this one. And we're not going to go over the whole thing. I don't give a shit. Basically, he finds 50 different ways to call me the arse. Why? Why would he talk about? Oh, so it's like, oh, so I guess Card's been doing a, a whole bunch of things in real life. That's where you springboard off and go. No, he fucking hasn't. I've got him. And that would be an amazing fucking expose. Gunter would have fucking won if, at that moment if he'd been like, Card starts every video saying he's an organizer, he's not, here's the evidence. What is this? He just jumped away from it. He, he, set, up, he set up a transition into a first point and now is stepping back and doing further exposition. What are you doing? And that's about it. So we're going to move on from that. Call you the R slur. And uh, we're going to move on. Is retarded considered a slur? I don't believe Card would call people retarded, and I guarantee he did not say it in that video. 
He called you dumb, though, sure. I pulled- Well, he didn't- I don't think he even said the dumb. The word dumb. I know- Is- Right. I keep getting confused on who the neurotic leftist is here. Because Alec tried to paint Card as being, like, hypersensitive about words and blah blah blah. Now Alec Gunter is trying to frame Card posting as he's saying no-no words. So he's the bad guy. They're the same. They're the same. But uh, what I was going to get at is, you can't say dumb, right? Dumb. I mean, we can say dumb. We can even say retard. Even Twitch TOS allows it, as long as you don't combine it with a protected characteristic. But the, the neurotic lefty thing is also you can't say dumb, right? That's also considered a slur. Yes? Put up this video to make a point. I don't like the way, the, my initial way. Oh, there he is in chat. Hello, card posting. Welcome. Welcome, my friend. Would you like to, oh, let me offer you right now. Where is he? Would you like to come on stream? But before we I have set started, this entire thing up, but I, I will put it all aside. If you would like Hold to come on, on stream yeah, right now, my friend. Oh, it's in the YouTube chat. It's an imposter. I believe the card posting. So Alec Gunter is excited that there's a card posting in the chat. Card posting was not in the chat. I believe the man he's talking about in the YouTube chat is one of you guys. <laughs> I will open that door for you. I have a lot of stuff to cover about Mr. Card, so... Sorry, it's not actually me. You son of a bitch! You had me going. Good job. Anyway... <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. All right, let's keep going. So I pulled up this video to make a point. Man, d how dare you? How dare you? I should ban you for that. Don't ban him. It's fine. Anyway, he fessed up. He fessed up. So I pulled up this video to make a point. I don't like the way that he presents himself. First of all, we, you got to work on your drip. I'm sorry. I have a lot it it could be cute, but like Hart, with the so setup, it just... The whole, the whole package is just so not attractive. I guess, but are we supposed to look at your webcam and see night and day okay and like i said in my second video of the trilogy i think this is a okay i think card looks cooler because he has like a mr rogers today we're gonna learn how to make a mail bomb kind of vibe if only he was actually more like that but he's not you have to present yourself well when you're doing activist content, part of it is uh, uh, optics. Like he has a simultaneously wholesome, but also I live in the wilderness in a shed to get off the grid vibe. Right? You have to look good. You have to present yourself well. All right? And this is just an insane point to make. He's got to show. Is he, he going to show? Because Card debunked this claim. Objectively, you can say attractiveness, appearance, style is taste. Card got you. Soy, new male, bug man. That is what that, like, living room setup screams. It's not good presentation. It's not. All right? Yeah, it could be cute grandpa drip. It could be, but he, he's just too creepy. So I just don't buy it. All right? So anyway. Um he's too creepy, so you don't buy it. What about him? His physical form? His actual face? Hmm, curious, curious. Um, so yeah, I pulled this up just to give an example. So let's go, which, what's the timestamp? 1526. So let's see what he has to say on the subject of uh, cis-heteronormativity, deconstructing it for fun and clout. Go so this is the video that he contacted Cardpost about. Gave a YouTube comment, posted on the LGBT board on 4chan. Um, I think maybe tried some other methods of getting in touch with Card, was trying to bait Card into a conversation about this video. Go ahead. Oh, he's worse than me. Now go ahead. In a lot of leftist One second. Don't worry, Gunther's mom just noticed that there were a bunch of, like, balled up sticky tissues she had to get rid of. She could start to right. smell them. Calls. Your voice will be given less weight if you present as a typical straight white man. By the way, I've never had that experience ever. That might sound like- Alec, you didn't give any- you didn't let him- you cut the context out of that. Does Alec not- 
get that people watching his stream don't know everything he does, so sometimes you have to give a, a bit more context, or is he deliberately snipping out? Like a right-wing lie, but it's true, and actually it's good, because it's correcting for the fact that those sorts of voices and opinions have long historically been, and still are, given disproportionate weight everywhere else in society, because of that aforementioned patriarchy and the institutional racism and sexism. It's a Cosby so sweater. On. Here's the thing. You can get around a lot of that by being visibly and loudly queer. And here's the magic reason why it works. Because we all agree that simply identifying as something is what makes it real. Knowing this, I won't act in bad faith per se, and my support for queer rights isn't disingenuous. But if we make identity this malleable, but still attach this much meaning to it, then I am going to take it as far as I'm enabled to do so. Bonus yeah. points for the fact it makes outright reaction <laughs> like and all the bad kind of liberals mad too. I'm perfectly ready, willing, and able to claim- Nothing to say yet. Look, we're letting this full. I say this full section. Very important context was cut out that Alec Gunter didn't need to cut out to try and get card in trouble with his audience or whatever yeah this is some embarrassing level of snitching reminder alec gunter was talking about nipping card's channel in the bud and to do that he's showing a clip from a video card has on his channel in any sort of identity and pronouns in the moment if it seems advantageous or fun so let's unpack that. He is willing and able to take on any identification he wants in the moment if it seems advantageous at that time. Is he allowed yeah. to do that? Yes. Sure, I guess. <laughs> but why would you admit to that? Why would you go around saying to people, yeah, you know, I just, I pretend to be trans or non-binary when it suits my needs. Oh, you know, like, he literally says this in the video, by the way. I sh he's, yeah, because he's, he's, he's a weird guy with relatively off-the-walls he takes that logically valid understanding of what's going on there, and instead of it looking like reductio absurdum, uh, reductio ad absurdum to Card, Card goes, yeah, that seems cool. Like, where a conservative might be like, oh, that's crazy, I'll just say I'm a woman then. Card is like, oh, cool, I can just say I'm a woman? He's weird. He's weird, but... Did you not? He says, if somebody hires me or refuses to hire me, I can just switch gender statuses and sue him. He says that in this video. I shit you not. And you should be too, quite frankly. And I'll tell you what, there's nothing that gets you over your internalized heteronormativity quicker either. Gatekeeping is bad, but it's kind of done away with when no facet of your identity mm. is necessarily set in stone. Further still, it almost sounds like I'm the regressive one here, Yes. But actually... It sure does? It sure does! Wow! Wow! You hit the nail on the head, Card! Good job! ...tude on the matter is, in reality, the furthest left it seems possible to get at the moment. To put it simply, TERFs are wrong and bad, transmedicalists are wrong and bad, and I will talk over them at every opportunity. Agreed on that, at least. Uh Gunter's stupid. Oh no, Gunter's a moron. How do you completely disagree them disagree with them without coming to Card's conclusion regarding gatekeeping and allowing people to self-identify? Gunter doesn't understand what's being said. Yes, Chuds and Rightoids also say what Card's saying, but the Chuds and Rightoids say this is how it is. It's obviously wrong. Card is going the conclusion of going down this path is that, that's fine. He's coming to the same conclusion about what it means as people who critique it, but not the same judgment of the logical endpoint of it. Which is very unusual, I think. However, I don't think Alec Gunter understands what's happening. Woman-only space sounds innocuous enough, but it's unfortunately often a turf dog whistle. Fortunately, we can true. rhetorically maneuver around that sort of argument now. Remember, you're perfectly able to say whatever you need to subvert exclusionary spaces. And what he just said right there 
is that if he wants to go peek in a woman's restroom, all he has to do is say, <laughs> I am transgender. I'm a trans femme. Yeah, but Gunter, so do you! Uh, fuck, do you not get it? <laughs> do you not understand? Mm, my fucking god. Okay, let's let him... Oh. Why do I have so many tabs open? Fuck you, that's his screen. I have two tabs. Why would you say that? Optics! Optics man! Oh, Alec Gunter isn't contesting that he believes that as well. Just don't say it out loud. Oh, he's saying it's an optics argument, not that he disagrees. Okay. Right. He's still on optics. Card is very explicitly stating the, the intention behind it. I don't think it's harder to get from what mainstream say to the creeps, creeps will use that to go into women's bathrooms. The argument is meant to be that people wouldn't do that. Not that you need to not say anything that's closer to that because you need to hide the way it looks. It's meant to be that that's wrong. Nah, dog. Okay, we don't do that. Nobody does that. Nobody. But now you've opened up the door for people to think that they do. Why the fuck would you say that? But Card does. So they do. No, they do do that. Card does that. Allegedly, according to himself, I think this goes beyond optics. Because Alex's problem isn't just that he's making something that's fine look bad. Alex wants it to go a step beyond and not just be about the presentation of the truth. He wants truth to be suppressed for the sake of optics. I don't know. Hmm. This is insane. It's insane. Anyway, point being is optics are shit. Okay, so I already have a problem with them on that basis alone. Now, I think this is silly though, because the claim that people just say they're women to get into women's spaces is fucking everywhere anyway. Like they're not gonna they're not gonna get this from card posting. It's constantly claimed. People take that from trans women going into women's bathrooms. I don't think they need card posting saying, oh, take advantage at work by saying you're a woman. The, 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 the ship has sailed. The ship has sailed on people saying uh, that, oh man, because of card, people are going to start to claim that trans women are sexual deviants. Damn, that's never happened before. Man, card is making that happen. It's the first time I'm hearing that. During my research, I thought, I really thought, because he said several times in many of his videos that he did real life work. And so I was willing to give this guy the benefit of the doubt and say, you know, maybe this is just a well-meaning guy, right? Who, who wants to, uh, you know, be progressive and, and do good things, right? From this, you can still get that. I guess he's just too honest. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't necessarily, I haven't seen Gunter disagree ideologically with him. He just finds that Card is too open. But, as it turns out, that's not the case. We're going to go into that later. Oh, just... okay, okay, okay. That bit's real important to get to, though, brother. He's telling you guys that now to set you up for some severe disappointment. Severe disappointment. Okay? It's not good. Anyway, let's move on. So this is just my comment section. Um, I got a couple of comments. I just want to go over one real quick. This one from OK Then OK Then. This was very entertaining. I've been aware of Card for a little while. Some time ago, I found that I was subscribed to his odd channel with no memory of having subscribed. Curious, I checked his channel in the URL way back machine. That is weird. And it turns out he had built up a few thousand subscribers because he used to post Chapo Trap House clips under the name Acid Marxist too. Uh implying he was associated with a popular chatbot clip channel called Acid Marxist. Since then, I've been spamming his videos on Reddit and writing things like, very worth watching in the post titles. So I don't think there are a lot of genuine organic card fans out there. I think this is card. I think this is card. I opened this comment thinking that it was one of the ones that was bringing concern, but now that I'm reading it, I think this genuinely is card. He's in the walls. Oh my god. If card will say he's a woman, he'll also say he's another chatter. Whoever went in there and pretended to be Card in the chat 
well done because now Gunter is starting to look insane. But he's been. <laughs> Dude, Gunter's been successfully gaslighted by two internet comments. That's all it took. Because he's trying to get ahead of what's coming next. We'll get into that. Um, let's see. Scroll, scroll. Damn, this is too real. I know that there's another comment where some. Is this what it's like when I'm done watching a video and I scroll through the YouTube comments and I'm quiet for like 10 solid seconds? Oh man, I don't like it. I see myself in this picture and I don't like it. Somebody mentioned that they know who he is. Let me, let me sort by newest. In the edited video, this will look better, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> Shift, Windows key, S. Take the comment. Post it into Paint, save it. Drag it onto your stream as, a, as an image source. You don't need to scramble through this. You could have been better prepared. If it, if you think Card is dangerous for the for the left online, he's gonna destroy your image, gonna make you look like a joke. A bit late. Maybe maybe be better prepared when you're gonna nuke him from orbit. Sort by newest sock puppet account. Oh, trust me, it's much more likely than you think. Take your time. I have all day. Just a, here we go from Sankaku Band. There's a lot of shit about this guy. People don't know, by the way. He is definite grifter, uh, who, was, who was spent a lot of time harassing transgender friends of mine and attempting to, quote, expose us to Kiwi farms. A lot of the regular FTMs on 4chan's LGBT board know this guy, where he often shows his true colors. He also got a Discord server I was once in banned entirely by holding it basically ransom and reporting us if we didn't give him money. I ended up leaving that server what? due to issues with genuine racism, but that's besides the point. The guy also has a video on his channel Wait, okay, so this is interesting, but this comic reads like the writing of an insane Discord estrogen enjoyer. He threatened to get them banned if he didn't give them money, and you left that ser server because of the racism in it. This could be interpreted to mean that Card was going after a racist server, which wouldn't the leftoids approve of? If that's what... Okay, let's see what this is. Let's see what this is. ...channel where he openly admits to IDing as non-binary solely for clout with progressive circles as a, as a way to gain the system. We just watched that. So beautiful. So there's some... Right. I need someone to explain at some point why that isn't valid. If the core of your being is opportunistic and you are drawn to a gender on the basis that it benefits you, and that's genuinely the one you like most or whatever in the moment, is that not a reason to be that gender? Self-ID self is valid. Can you police someone's reason? If they're doing it opportunistically, if they're doing it to benefit themselves, why isn't that a valid reason? Like, yeah, why can't you be a, why can't you be a gender min-maxer? If the core of who you are is you're a min-maxer, you're an opportunist, you're an exploiter, wouldn't it be most honest to pick the gender that you think best benefits you? Spoilers in here. There's some spoilers. I apologize. But I had to give you guys an idea of where we're going with this. Because that's how we got to be where we're at. I don't just dislike the guy. He's a piece of shit. And we're going to get into it. Let's move on. So, that's his YouTube presence. Let's talk about his Reddit presence. Now, his Reddit mm. account, as it turns okay, out, is banned. Okay. He does not have a John David Card Reddit account. There is no John David Card Reddit anymore. Um, and you can see here, David Chang UA, all right? Chang UA. That's the uh, name on this account. And we got Pink Breakfast Slot, Dog Whistles 101, The Wall. Look at this. Look at that right there. It seems that uh, Mr. Card has a fan. Mr. Card has a fan, right? So yeah, this is either him or it is a Dementoid. Political Compass Memes has a Nazi problem. Another card video. Dog Whistles 101, Tiny Hats, another card video. Wow, this guy must be a super fan of card. Look at all these posts. He's, he's spamming, it would seem. He's spamming over and over. Wait, what's this? This is what? me. Oh. Oh, would you look at that? It's card. That's, that's Mr. John David Card himself. Wow. Who, who could have guessed it? It's probably card. All right. But. Hey, guys, this is me. See that picture on screen? This is me. Like, it's probably card. But an account posting this is me with a picture isn't proof that that's whose account it is. Who could have guessed it, right? Laid out right there for us. This is not that, this is not that fucking complicated. So what's the line from this? 
So this is probably Card. It spams his videos on Reddit. There's a this is me post with a picture of Card. Like, what is this connected to? Right? Like, what are you thinking, man? You didn't just leave a breadcrumb, Cheryl. You left the whole fucking loaves out for me. Come on. Like, this is, this is like... Is he gonna say he's banavating? Is it- wait, is this even pretending not to be- Like, who is the account pretending to be? You've shown it says this is me. The account says it's card. Covert- 101, man. Wait, so what is his point? What are you doing? That's not where it ends, though. He also has an alt Twitter. How do I know- That's not where it ends? Oh, it's him. Vosh V, check this out. Bow of the Fifth Columns, Problematic Past. Another card video. Would you Sorry, what's the point? What's wrong with having a Reddit account and posting your videos? Like, I know it's against the rules on Reddit to self-promote too much. It's, it's, there's some, there's some ratio where you, it's like, you have to have some number of regular posts to self-promotion, but like, you can... Wait, why can't he self-promote on Reddit? Why would you even... I don't care. Look at that. Boy, this guy's got identities all over the place. Bone China Chloe. We seem to be running into a pattern here with these, uh, you know, interesting names. This, this naming scheme, right? Remember that. Three words? Three part usernames? Is that what you mean? Chinese words? Chinese sounding words? And there's China in this name? What? By the way, he thinks Card is in his chat. He thinks Card is watching. He thinks Card fans are watching. Anyway, let's move on. So, as it turns out, John David Card is a published author. Yeah. Can you believe that? He now you're promoting him! The, vi the virus- the virus has infected you. Card self-promoted so hard that he's tricked Alec Gunter into promoing him on his stream, his books. He's a journalist as well as a published author. So this is his profile in Independent Australia, John Card. John David Card is a writer, historian, and anarchist activist. In addition to working as a researcher focusing on 19th century folk traditions and religion, Card spends a lot of time writing progressive polemic, kitschy poems, and the occasional self-aggrandizing tall tale. When... Go away. Go away. When not busy with acad... Maybe I'll support you if you get rid of this asshole. When not busy with academic or... Did, did, did no spark fire up in Alec Gunter's brain when he read that Card describes himself? as writing polemics, as being a polemicist? Is he still going to take all those videos at absolute face value? Hmm. Literary pursuits. They're a proudly militant anti-fascist and incessant advocate for building a non-hierarchical non communities, tenants' unions, and self-sustaining means of mutual aid. You can follow Card on YouTube here, personal website here, and Instagram here. Now, we're interested in the personal website, so let's go there, shall we? Mm -hmm. Personal website. We got the projects archive that actually in terms of optics is alec gonna pick up on there being a manifesto coming soon page have manifesto people mover yeah. so you can see all his links here right now the one that i want to bring to light is this one called people mover now what is no. this you might ask people move you're not going to argue there are sinister vibes okay over a novella let's take a little look people mover this is a book that he wrote. Began around mid-2019. Now, you can see that he's got fantastic grammar back here. People Mover began, comma, around mid-2019, comma, as a series of short, unconnected vignettes, vignettes, sorry, set among the truck stops and way stations of the U.S.-Canadian border. I don't know why he said it here. Genuinely, I still don't know why he said it here. Because the guy's from Australia. I don't know what possessed him to do that, but it's, it's a side note. I why not? Are you trying to maintain the U.S. borders within someone's imagination? This is the most extreme border control I've ever heard of in my life. Forget! We don't need to just stop them from coming in, brother. We need to stop them from imagining they're here. I don't know. It was initially just a personal exercise in writing prose. I Sorry, this is the guy who was saying Card seems like a like neurotic asshole who's impossible to be around, and he's picking at mm, you're not from the U.S. Why are you writing about the U.S.? Shut up! Fuck. I've been you. writing journalistic. Here, wait. I had been writing journalistic nonfiction regularly for around two years by that point, but for all the interesting ideas for stories I was holding into onto, 
I had never found creative writing to come to me anywhere near as easily. Writing out these... Here, wait. Wait. Why is he mimicking my voice? Is this the reveal that he knows we've been watching him? <laughs> writing out these little scenes and other little practice pieces did start to leave me feeling a bit more confident about what I was doing. Oh, confident is spelled with an A. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Look at this. He's so confident in his writing, isn't he? Jesus, man. Jesus Christ. Confidant. Spell check. Spell check. Come on. It's a cheat code. You literally have a cheat code and you still can't do this shit. What's wrong with you? Let's move on. Let's move on. Let's get right into the novella, shall we? Because I'm a big John David Card what fan, are you okay? Doing? Don't become the cringe. Fuck you. I'll, I'll be cringe. You're trying to nip him in the bud. And you're going for like a, a, a chud, rightoid bullying approach that will instantly make people sympathetic to Card. What are you, what are you doing? If, if he has the audience, I think he does. This will make them more sympathetic to Card. And he's arguing on optics. All I want. I'm, I've earned this shit. You know how much shit that I've had to pour through for this? Let's move on. Okay, because I want to get into some anecdotes from the book. I want to get into some anecdotes. Right. I want to give you guys a little taste of what John David Card has to offer. So first things first, I want to point out some grammatical issues, okay? Grammatical issues. <sighs> she realized he wouldn't stop the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, wrong one. That's for later. Uh, whoever... No, no, that is fucked up. Spelled realized with a Z. Disgusting. Spelled with an S. Sorry, my American brothers. I stand with you, but I don't stand with you on all these fucking Zs everywhere. Who's editing this if it's Dubsy? Cut that out. First anecdote. Upon barely getting one foot back on the truck's accelerator, he had did a retake. He had did a retake. Interesting. Now, I thought that I was the slack jaw here. I thought that I... Did that get him that bad? Right. Yeah. Hold up. Is it here? And the slack jaw and the glasses and the pink lighting and the gaming. Card only ever says that once in a 13 minute video. Holy shit. I was right. It's like a, it's like a nail hammered into Alec Gunter's skull. He's never going to be able to pull it out. He's got PTSD. The thing about this video is anything he says about Card is like, oh, Card's a loser. Card's a creep. Card can't write. He's retarded. He's a grifter. He's opportunistic. Yeah. And he owned you. So what does that make you? <laughs> you fucking idiot. Here's Card. Alec Gunter will always be here, at, at best, in relation to Card. Alec, you're knocking Card down. Why would you do it to yourself? I was the stupid one here, to be honest with you guys. I thought I was a dumb one. But no, uh, it, it would seem that he needs a little bit of help with his grammar. Right? Confidant is a words too. Oh, okay, that's fair. That's fair. But like spell- Sorry, he didn't know that confidant is, is a word? And that it's- Incorrect in that context. Yes, in that case, yes, Alec, you are the retard, still. Do you think Alec read this and recognized the errors? Or did someone from his audience send this to him and show him why it was wrong and now he's mimicking them? He didn't fucking know confidant was a word. Bro. All check still checks. Like, usually, like, it's got a blue underline. Right? I guess not always. Whatever. We'll forgive him for that one. He's got other grammar mistakes. Trust me. He cleanly backed up, swiveled the alignment of the cab around, and pulled back out on- So did all of this come from that one person who hates card? Does he tell us where all of this comes from? The different um, places? Is this all from the- If- Ooh. If he swallowed everything from one person? Oh, true. They are. That is like the Google Drive symbol. ...into the highway as fast as he could, a maneuvered, executed flawlessly given decades of driving experience. So a little one there. Little one right there. Okay. That's more of a typo than anything. 
That's like a brain fart typo and he didn't proofread. That's not even you're dumb. That's, oh, you, you, you wrote maneuvered instead of maneuver and you didn't carefully check your work. She could have almost been there by now, admittedly, had it not been for the conniving driver who she had left the truck stop restroom just in time to see driving off. The conniving driver. He's trying to figure out why it's wrong. Did he get sent all this and didn't even look at it himself until now? No, actually, that's fine. I don't know why I pulled yeah. that one up. You pulled it up because someone else fed it to you, brother. Oh, no. Imagine being this much of a puppet, I say, playing the video Nicandros edited for me. Good job, Card. Almost as though he is himself is playing along to the same script in Helen's head. Mustache and sunglasses, blah, blah, blah. You guys get the idea. What's wrong with this? What's the thing that's wrong here? All right. I think this is the last grammar error. So how did a girl of your age get here unsupervised anyway? My parents left me here, I think about an hour ago, as punishment. They do that some days, whenever I become a burden to them. I think it's about time. Uh, the, 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 like the ellipsis and then... What is his camera saying? Hmm. Pubic gutter? Anyway, hello, Egusan. Hello, hello. Thank you very much for the sub. I'm for Salvo, please. Um, stylistically, I don't like it. I don't think that flows right. It doesn't get across the tone I'd have for this line. Depending on the person saying it, I guess. But, like, this is... This is nothing. Time we talk about the subject matter of the book. Okay. The book is about a 12-year-old in Montana. A 12-year-old girl who uh, decides that she's going to run away from home. And in order to do so, she takes a gun with her. It's an abusive household. It's, it's, it's a fine premise for a story. I don't knock the premise, but right. just... <laughs> Card lets a child have a gun in his imagination. Bear with me. Where's this going to go? The premise right, is it's a 12-year-old who runs away from home with a gun in hand and uses it to hitchhike to Canada, right? Definitely a 12-year-old's okay. dialogue. Yes, it's a 12-year-old. So, not like people write adventure stories like this all the time with kids, and it can even be a gritty adventure story. I'm not knocking the guy for that. Sure. However, it's important to keep in mind that this guy is supposedly a leftist activist. And that being the case, it is. Where's he going to go with this? He's supposedly a leftist activist, but he wrote this story. Is that what it's going to be? It's what important is it? that you have a good appearance online. And frankly, I don't think that this book portrays that very well. So let's take a look, shall we? Now, I, as I said, I read the first 50 pages of this. I got to tell you guys. <laughs> oh, no. New Year's resolution failed. New Year's resolution failed. Uh, for people who don't know, Alec Gunter publicly posted his New Year's resolution, one of which was to read a book. He didn't quite pull it off here. Maybe he'll manage it in future. There's a lot of really weird shit. Let's go over it. A lot of really weird shit. From her? Yeah, Gunter, you online leftists do have a lot of weird shit like this. <laughs> Though, the danger is optics. He's one of us. He's an online leftist. Let me show you all the weird shit about him. Damn, you guys are weird. Alec, your, en your enemies aren't gonna go, Oh, yeah. You disowned him. I can't paint you with this brush. You can't get rid of it point of view, the girl, Helen, had already found the companion for the next stage of her journey. Another trucker, tattooed hands, thick blonde handlebar mustache, a slightly too tight and definitely well-worn Marlboro t-shirt, and most egregiously, plastic truck stop sports sunglasses. It all came together in a perfect past pastiche of middle American masculinity. Confirmed new word discovered. It all ticked. It all fit. So these are just some okay. descriptions I'm giving you first, just to set the stage. He stopped short of finishing his sentence. He felt his right cheek contort to the touch of a tube-like object pressed hard against the skin of his face. For a second, his mind failed to comprehend the moment. But that was it. It all fell into place immediately. Point-blank range with disaster. Heart pounding. <laughs> unprecedented sa the sense of danger was taking over him. It was a gun's cold barrel that was pres presently pushed into his face. By a 12-year-old girl. Wait, why did, he, why did he zoom in like this? So this is, 
I would say bad. This is I would say bad writing. Why would you say why would you say <sighs> authors who think they're super smart will explain explicitly the image they were trying to create. That last sentence is like comical. It's like no shit. No shit. It's the gun in his face. Let's keep going. He waited for her to continue. Like, I don't, I don't stylistically approve of that, but... Yeah, it's a kid pointing a gun in someone's face. All right. Once he realized she wasn't going to talk, he tried to interest her in some food. Uh, no period, by the way. Another grammar issue. Have you eaten anything? Would you like a cookie? What kind? I don't know. It's got the cream stuff inside. Maybe things get sus later. The way... Is he suggesting that that's innuendo? I don't think that's innuendo. We might see an example coming up where there is something explicit, but no, there are cookies with cream stuff inside. Cookies aren't really phallic. Unless Alec is rocking a chode, a cookie isn't... A cookie with cream inside isn't, like, sexual. His chat is saying, that sentence is fine, just tracks a bit weird. Someone- oh, they say, I don't like where this might be going. He knew the risk was high. The police probably wouldn't believe him, given his own dubious history with both the law and CPS. Who? Who in the story? In what context? So there's a character in the story who has a dubious history with the law and child protective services. He knew the risk of what was high. It could be... We don't even know what the fuck is happening in the story. This could be a guy who's trying to help the girl and is like, Oh fuck, I beat my kids and I want to make it right. But maybe the police won't believe me. We don't know what the fuck this is. This could be bad. This could be... And it's also a story. Like... What? Make it stop? I think not! Let's- Make it stop? It hasn't, like, happened yet. Good point. Is this the kind of PDF you can search, or the kind you can't? Control F. We've got it! Her story had a dubious taste in his mouth, left alone by her parents in the early morning light at a trucker's inn after she wouldn't stop crying in the car. Sounded ridiculous. It didn't add up, and he didn't need to take on the responsibility of handling her. But he felt concerned, and a sense of guilt or misplaced responsibility was making ever larger strides in his conscience. He kept questioning himself, making up theories about what a girl of only 12 years could be doing hitchhiking so far away from home. Eventually, he surrendered to his curiosity and with perhaps too much empathy creeping upon him, he decided against calling the authorities, at least immediately. First mistake? He knew the risk was high. The police probably wouldn't believe him, given his own dubious history with both the law and CPS. He had quickly trolled through the consequences, weighing them, but nothing got past it. Ironically, an undue lack of integrity in the eyes of the authorities had been the decisive cause for his actions. But the tears streaming down the girl's face and the despair in her voice in the moment had admittedly been a factor. His case. She had, after all, only asked for a ride to the next town, St. Mary, Montana. But he wished the tears hadn't helped her case, he even started to wish he had reconsidered his decision to not call CPS. Most of all, he wished he'd never met her at all. Right. So he's deciding to help her get to the next town. The history with CPS thing is about involvement of the law or the law finding him with a kid. But in the story, he is explicitly just trying to help her get to the next stop because she cried and he felt guilty. And then, yeah, but then it flips hex. He intends to only take her to the next town, but then she holds him at gunpoint and makes him drive her further. This isn't a pedo story, at least not yet. I don't see it. All right, hold up. Do you want to know what he does to her? Do you want to know what it looks like he does to, to her? Yeah. Oh, no, I see what he does to her. I did it. Do you want to? Um, he waits for an opportunity and drives away from her. He drives away from her, scared of her, because she has a gun, and he thinks she's crazy. That's, that's what this guy in the story does. The guy being referred to here feels bad for the girl, 
decides to take a risk driving her somewhere. She pulls out a gun on him and is like, you're taking me further. And then the first chance he gets, he drives away from her. Let's keep going. You're my only way to get back home and I'm really starting to get scared nobody's going to help me. That's because nobody wants to get in any trouble, the trucker let out. The sudden and unusual nature of the situation he now found himself in had reduced him to verbalizing thoughts almost as soon as they appeared in his head. A common side effect of trying to communicate while under pressure from, you know, a 12-year-old girl. Who has a gun. Let's check out the quote. She doesn't have a gun in that moment. Or maybe she does? You need context for these bits. I'm not seeing anything fucked here. The guy in this section, from what I can see, looking into it, he says to her that calling the police would be the best thing for her. He says, look, kid, I think the best way to help you is to call the police. But I doubt you'll necessarily stay out of trouble till the time I get here, so I'll drop you off at the next accessible spot because you're not waiting around in a parking lot all evening. Then you're on your own from there. The not get in trouble is they want to help a kid who's driven to get somewhere, but they don't want to get in fucking trouble from having a kid in their car. Right? It's not written to be a, some weird pedo thing. He's very mature, by the way. We're going to get into that. So these are all like insinuations, basically. They're not. If you read it, if you read like three lines on either side of these sections... The first one was a guy with a fucking gun pointed at him. The next one is the guy thinking, I want to help you, but I don't want to get in trouble for helping you. About the CPS. Where's this going? Just wait, just wait. Helen had always tried to be prudent when it came to accepting food from strangers. She'd heard all the PSAs, but wasn't above taking a free snack, especially whenever she didn't know for sure when or what her next meal might be either. Mm -hmm. In the 10 minutes or so she'd been in his truck's cabin, she studied the man to a considerable extent, and it was hard to find any real fault with him as yet. She had to be careful, an honest facade, engulfed in every person in the world like herself. Everyone has something hidden, some dark place they wish they could never visit. Yeah. Besides, her driver was already one-handedly taking the cookies out of their store-bought pre-wrapped sleeve tray. Safe and very welcome, she concluded. Yeah. Does that make you feel scared for the girl? Yeah. This one is setting up the image of girl lured by candy. Which makes sense. There's a, there's a little girl who is vulnerable hitchhiking. If you want to create fear and tension... A predator approaching her, yeah. Okay. If it becomes some weird, like, way too graphic, clearly not about building tension or something, then maybe, but this is like... But don't worry, it's not just the truckers. Now, if you were worried, don't worry. There is a love interest that is of her age, and it is very normal. So let's go over it. Okay. Ralph, who is also 12. <laughs> no, 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 not yet. Ralph had helped Helen with this. Ralph was a boy about her own age. She knew from school with a weak heart and a heavy crush. She knew he could be played, exploited to her own right. benefit. He was blinded by harmless affection, and she was very much aware of it. Ralph managed to take her to the, right up to the inn from the main road turnoff mm -hmm. she had found herself at on her his two-seater bike. Christ almighty, what is that sentence? He had wondered at the time why he had... Why she had such an obviously overstuffed backpack on her, but with fear that Helen would put a sodden end to their ride together, he refrained from ever questioning her about it. Mm -hmm. He was happy to be around her, especially on such a pleasant afternoon and with no other pesky boys around to spoil the mood. <laughs> you know. Young adult literature is going to absolutely fuck you up, Alec. This isn't for me, but yeah, teen girl gonna go on a trip, talks to a boy who has a crush on her. A boy her age who was interested in her would absolutely make sense that he's happy there aren't other boys around to spoil the mood. This is just realistic. Of the 12-year-olds, he felt like a man of strength, protecting his dear woman. He dropped her off and headed back home as Helen ha Hex in chat nailed it. This is the girl exploiting a guy of her age had then brusquely told him what's wrong with this being part of the story to do uh she felt bad for using him as transportation but promised him she would meet again and they could have a good talk his own story was the dog whistle it was the dog whistle all along uh 
Okay. All right. So that puts a, a pin in Ralph, right? So just Ralph set aside for now. Mm-hmm. Let's move on to the next part. Now, don't worry. This is their last little bit. Okay. We got a few more. I think six more to go over and then we're done. Six more. What is he even arguing about? Uh, arguing against storytelling? Yeah. As far as I can tell, he said it's fine to write a story about a 12 year old. You can write stories about kids. It can be gritty even. Right? We've got a story about a 12-year-old. It's being gritty. Not even insanely gritty. Now we have her taking advantage of someone who's the same age with a, with a crush on her. She took advantage of an adult using a gun. She took advantage of another adult just by crying and being like, I'm in danger, you got to help me get out of whatever. What's fucked up yet? All right, so... This is all the times, not all the times, mind you. Is it actually? Let me look. No, this is four out of like the seven or eight times that the maturity thing comes up. I just hate to mess up your truck is all. The smell isn't something you'd want to have to get used to. Believe me. That's the 12-year-old talking. A surprisingly blunt remark for a girl her age, the driver thought. Sure. She's referring to peeing herself, by the way. She was, she was threatening to pee herself. That's like in the first 10, 10 pages. She started- okay. I have to use the restroom, the girl said, not untruthfully, but not without a calculated angle either. You just left the stop. He's making it sound like a fetish thing. This is the girl saying, stop, I need to pee. They'd only left the last stop half an hour ago, so he's like, I don't want to stop. And then she's like, oh, I'd hate to mess your truck up if you don't let me pee. He's painting it as like a fetish thing. It's it's a kid going, let me out to pee. Let me out to pee. To get him to stop early. What is he? I'm sorry for not living up to your expectations. I may be mature for my age, but my body still works like any other 12-year-olds. This is the most sus looking one. What's the context? Girl snaps back dryly. Well, I'm in charge of my own bladder, just it doesn't always listen. Wait, is this at the same point of the story? Oh, this is this this is from the same section where she's saying I need to pee and she's saying I'll pee myself. She's saying I'll piss myself if you don't let me out. Okay, she fidgets in her seat. She says she's 12 again. I'm starting to think this was a mistake. Your little attitude ain't so welcome with me. Starting, she says, hey, you wanted me to start talking when we left. Personally, I think you could have just ignored me all the way. He wished he had. The guy wishes he ignored her. Big pedo energy, okay. I thought I could use the company, the man sneered. How bad could a 12-year-old be? I'm sorry for not living up to your expectations. I may be mature for my age, but my body still works like any other 12-year-olds. Meaning, she needs to pee and can't hold it. Which she's lying about here to get him to stop early. She gestured through the windscreen of of the truck's cab. Look, that billboard says there's a stop after the next exit, and if you refuse, I may have to resort to other means. The guy ends up saying, guess it wouldn't hurt to make one more stop. It's her getting him to stop again when he doesn't want to. This isn't pedo shit. He noticed a line of trucks making their way into the parking area. A clean exit was still on the table if she took her time. Girls always did, or maybe... Women always did? He couldn't deny the fact that the little girl was dangerous, a barely five feet tall loose cannon that he knew he couldn't afford to entertain any longer. I'm about to turn stream off. Just- That line seems weird, but I happen to know that this part it's from. Immediately after this, this is the guy who drives away from her, having been threatened by her with a gun. I understand the line. It's written awkwardly. It's written awkwardly. He's saying a clean exit was still on the table if she took her time. Girls always did, so she'll take her time. And then, or maybe women always did, is him worrying because she's not a woman that she won't take a long time, so he doesn't have much of a chance. It's not him saying the kid is a woman, it's him going, Oh fuck, women take their time. Do girls, do I have time? Gunter reading it like that fucked me up. His retardation beamed into me and I couldn't understand what it meant. No, that's not weird at all. 
It's him explicitly saying she's just the girl. Maybe she doesn't take that long in the bathroom. Wait, just wait. We're almost done. We're almost through it. A 12 year old with a deadly weapon, mature attitude could be harmful to society. But right now he couldn't care less about society. Frankly, he just wanted to survive. Yes. This is him. Because I read this section. This is the guy thinking leaving a girl with a gun is dangerous for society. I care more about myself. I'm fucking out of here. I'm not going to stop. I'm not. It's him going. I'm not going to stop the girl with the gun. I'm out of here. Fuck society. They can deal with her. Their problem. Your problem. What is he fucking suggesting? Does does he think the I he couldn't care about society means I'm going to be a kid? No, it's him going, society, you have this psycho. I'm out. All right, we got two more. She had pulled the gun on him. Yeah, Fabry. Yeah, he's, let me make sure this is the correct one. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of these are nothing, Gunter. This guy does need to read a book. Maybe he should have read this one he's talking about. Ah, right, here we go. There's more insinuation. The driver's face contorted unmistakably into what could only be described as a contemplative grimace for a fraction of a second. He could see how this easily seemed to the ear of an outsider. Suddenly, he was faced with a decision that could dictate his future. One verbal mistake with the police, and it could uh, be years behind bars. He felt a slight rage form inside of him. A rage right. that could perhaps make irrational decisions for him. He thought about stopping his truck and forcefully throwing the girl out. He chided himself inwardly. Look, this isn't a game I want to play. I have enough... I've uh, dealt enough with your rubbish. Right. Irrational decisions. Let's search that. That's my other channel, by the way. It's her arguing with another guy she hitchhiked with. Maybe even the same guy. She says, I don't know what your parents do for you, but in my house I retain a strict climate to keep my kids under control. She says, my parents don't care. I snuck out of the house yesterday. The guy says, wait, What? Helen explained her story from the start, carefully avoiding the part that involved the gun. The guy says, I don't believe this. I'm traveling with a 12-year-old taken to a place she's never have even been. She says, yes, I'm glad you see through it. And I would really appreciate it if you could please take me all the way to Calgary. He says, no way, girl. I don't want nothing to do with you anymore. I am surrendering you to the sheriff. She says, look, sir, that could land you into a lot of trouble, said Helen, realizing it was no use trying to persuade a lost cause. Yeah, right, he says, remarking sarcastically. She says, There may already have been a missing child alert issued by my family. If you take me directly to the police and I frame my story in such a way that makes you look like you've been using me from the start, I don't think it will be well received, and you don't have much time to think about it. In response to her saying, If you don't do what I want, I'll tell the police essentially that you kidnapped me, the guy is talking about a rage growing in him and potentially making an irrational decision and wanting to throw her out of the truck. That's a guy who thought he was helping some kid who was lost, finds out she's deliberately running away, saying, fuck that, I'm taking you to the sheriff, being threatened with the girl lying about what he's doing. He's not doing anything pedo -y or weird. And then in response to her saying she'll frame him, he gets angry. And the irrational decision that he's framing, I guess, is doing something to her is him ditching her from his car. Nothing more. This is... He says he read the first 50 pages. He did not. I'm not sure he can. All right. Last one. Prepare yourselves for this one. Prepare your... Card is a weirdo. He should be so easy to own. What is this? What are you doing? Selves for this one. I saved the best for last. Right. She realized he wouldn't stop the conversation until he got satisfactory answers. The type of infuriating characters that she had to deal with on this journey. They all needed... Satisfaction. Perhaps it was just a universal thing. Part of... The human condition. Right. Unless you provide me further context, I don't think that's referring to sexual satisfaction. I don't think- I do not think that's innuendo. Especially given the context of what we've read, they need to be told a story. They need to be satisfied that everything's on the up and up. 
Just, just average twelve-year-old shit. It's it, what, 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 what do you mean? It's just, it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's everything's fine. Everything is fine and good and normal. Everything's. F Even the pee thing was normal because you, you snipped it so carefully, or whoever fed it to you snipped it so carefully. Yes. Kids try to get their parents to stop by saying, "Oh, we got to stop here. I need to pee. I need to pee." This is taking that phenomenon and putting it in a much more serious situation. That's very, very normal approach to writing a story. Fine and good and normal. Okay? Now, here's the thing. Here's the thing. All seriousness. Here's the thing. Is this sussy? 1,000%. No. 1,000. It's actually not, though. 1,000% it's sussy. Yes. Okay? Is it illegal? No. Is it illegal? F actually, fuck this guy for his framing. Is writing a story about a hitchhiking 12-year-old in which nothing sexual happens... ...illegal? No. I think it should be allowed, but... What? <laughs> Is it pornography? No! N That's not even a question! It's nothing like pornography! What the <laughs> Guys, I watched Matilda the other day. Is it sus? Yeah. But is it illegal? No. Is it pornography? <laughs> no. You're making yourself look like a pedophile if you genuinely read what I just read and you you think that has porn vibes. It's all, I mean, yeah, th th that's a W for him, I guess, if you want to pull it, put it that way. It's, to it's completely legal and normal and fine, right? Except for the fact, once again, that he's a progressive activist. Okay, what do you think these fucking people talking about groomers and shit are gonna see when they see his fucking book that he's peddling everywhere, talking about a 12-year-old threatening to piss herself in the truck of some burly man's uh, truck? I don't think they'll do what you did. Gunter, you're the guy doing that. You're the guy doing that to a progressive. You are the chud. Do, do you understand? You're the one taking something that has nothing wrong with it, and because of who Card is... You're trying to paint him as a pedo. You're framing it as concern that someone else would do it. But you are doing it. You're the one doing it, and I don't think those people would do it to him. Listen back to what he almost said. When they see his fucking book that he's peddling everywhere, talking about a 12-year-old threatening to piss herself in the truck of some burly man's uh, truck. Burly man's ca- Sorry, in the truck of some burly man. I think he, no, he didn't say burly man's cock. He said car. Come on. That's where we ended. If that's where this ended, I feel I would be justified in making this video on those points alone. Okay, but <laughs> of course that's not where that ended. So look at Clams dude in his chat. Green text book opens with child urine. You can see that his audience has been misled. At least one person. They don't know the context that this kid never needed to pee. There was actually no pee. It was a kid getting a hitchhiker to stop. Extra. Holy. Right? It's never where it ended. Let's move on, shall we? Mr. Card is part of a couple of discords. Hmm. He's part of a couple of discords. This is a discord <laughs> message in which he asked for $15. Right? Now, there's nothing incriminating. What this? What Discord though? Was this like a ask for money Discord? Like what is this Discord? Because that. Anything about this? Sometimes you mean need money. This is just an advertiser. Promise. Okay. He asked for like fifteen dollars. Thanks. Whatever. And then somebody said no, which is very funny because I don't think he deserves any money. All right. If you do a nice picture of me, I'll tell you all about the time I might have inadvertently cyber bullied a gay guy at my university to death. Okay. Well. Well, well, G card. Where, well, G card. Where, where did that come from, my friend? What? <laughs> <laughs> that is weird. However, okay, now find out. Is that a real thing? Is that him just saying shit? Even as a made-up story, he's saying it's inadvertently. Done. Ex excuse me. I thought we were all progressive activists here. I didn't think we were doing that. Well then, just just a funny little anecdote. Hey, he's a writer. He's a writer. You know. He's a funny little anecdote. He's yeah. just having, he's a funny little guy. He's just a little guy. He's so silly. It's so silly. Remember this. We'll come back to it later. Okay. Anyway. Will we? Let's move on. 
Okay, so the first one from this. All right. So what is this? Now let me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Shit. Editor, cut that out. Editor, cut that out. I didn't want to. Editor, remove. My editors are better. My editors do not put cock on the screen. Uh, so for context, what is that, Nick Andros? What was that a picture of? Oh, it's some random person's face. Sorry, so not his? I show any faces, I apologize. I think it's blurred enough that it doesn't matter. It's also on a reverse image search, so whatever. But um, yeah, editor, cut that out. Give me just a second here. It's on a reverse image search. Yeah, but what if... Right. Finding it on a reverse image search could mean, let's say, Card grabbed that face from somewhere else. It could also mean that whoever posted it elsewhere, that you can find it using a reverse image search with, also is actually that person in that Discord. Do you think he understands that and checked? I don't trust that Alec Gunter would actually check what the case is with that. I, I had to censor a lot of things, okay? I had to censor a lot of things. Okay, sorry about that. Did the sound stop working for anyone else? Can you all still hear me okay? Not a good sign when you have to censor first a lot of one, things. This True. One. But, okay, but what's going on? Oh, are these faces? Not the... Yeah, let's... I guess he's going to tell us what's going on here later. All right, so we're censored now. Okay. Uh, editor, uh, Dubsy, come back in. Okay, so you may be wondering what you're looking at here. Now, let me explain. To be clear, uh, v dear viewers, all of this that says censored by editor, not censored by his editor, this is censored by Nicandros in the chat. Our buddy, viewer, Nicandros. Whatever this turns out to be was not censored in the original stream. So what Card here did is he is said, and, and I want to add right here that the, where I'm getting all of my information is anonymous. Okay, they're anonymous <sighs> sources. It was anonymous. <laughs> but I, I promise you that they are verifiable. You know, if anybody has any questions as to the whether or not these are real, you can always DM me. I can verify this. I have the receipts, okay? I have them. Oh. All right? I may even make them... To be clear, not because I've revealed them or I'm going to reveal them, but because he did. <laughs> Available in a folder, but for right now, just, you know, I have, I have my sources. Okay, so this is from Card in a server. Now, what are we looking at here? Well, my source tells me that what Card was attempting to do was reverse... Oh, shit. Shit. Ah! Oh. <laughs> what a reaction. Hmm, what happened there? I, I forgot to censor something else. I am so sorry. Hold on. <laughs> oh, There's a problem with doing this shit live. I'm gonna have to delete the VOD after this. Sorry, guys. Oh, delete the VOD. This VOD? The one we're watching right now? Strange. Good thing I'm not evil, and I'm not gonna leak the shit you leaked. Edit the video after? Okay, good. You whiffed that? I'm so sorry. We'll edit it after. Mm. Can't really, mm, can't really make things that happen live disappear, buddy. You got to be careful with that. If you're protecting a source, who? You know what looks really good? You know what's great optics? Going live and revealing the identity of someone you promised to keep anonymous. Sorry, I should have been more thorough. I apologize. It's too late now. What does the apology mean? Yes, we'll cut those out. All right, editor, come back in. So, you may be wondering what you're looking at here. So, Mr. Card decided to ask people in this Discord server um, if he could reverse image search them. Okay, now this is a trans female to male Discord server, and he's asking people, hey, uh, can I reverse image search? Uh, sorry, can I, yeah, can I reverse uh, search for images of you or something like that? He was searching for images of these people for some reason, okay? Yeah. Um, he wasn't sure. Let's see. This one says, wasn't sure because most of them appear to be from a Polish town's website and a figure from somewhere in Central Europe. So basically, he was trying to pinpoint the locations of some of these people, okay? Now, I can't show this on stream. You're presenting this in a weird way. But he also happens to have a very large right. folder of images of these people, okay? Um, it's not great. It's not great. He's just like collecting people. Like, he has a folder named right. Blanks Docs. Like, it's really bad, okay? Um, and actually, now that I think about it, I got to censor that too. So hold on one second. Right. He's concerned about optics. 
he's generating has this guy ever read noam chomsky has he heard about manufactured consent there are some similarities here he's creating the scenario in which you have to agree with him that there are bad optics but he's trying to do that don't worry if uh i do have a contingency if card tries to go after any of these people and i do i have a contingency if card tries to go after these people do you think that he would try yeah it's peak normal when you have to have like a fallback in case do you mean the people you identified <laughs> Somebody tries to go after some <laughs> the people you accidentally identified, and then instead of immediately ending the ending the stream and privating the video, you decided to finish going for another half hour, leaving it available for people to scrub through and see. You are very scared of retaliation, right? Doesn't edit them in later. It's fine. I, I've I've checked the rest of these. We're good. We get after this. I'm checking the rest of them now. Okay, we're good. I apologize. As you should. If you're worried about being doxxed, best not be online. I disagree. You, you should not have to worry about being doxxed. That's... If you're worried about being doxxed, do not trust Alec Gunter. That's a silly thing to, to say. Almost done. Okay, we're good. Okay, so basically he was trying to gather information on these people for who knows what purpose, right? Who knows what purpose? Perhaps the next tab will tell us, huh? Let's go. Let's take a look. Is Kiwi Farms gone permanently? Anyone know? Uh, you used to be able to get to it just by Googling. Mm -hmm. I'm the guy who's collecting everyone's doxes, by the way. I'm the guy who's collecting info on all these things. Uh, I was just wondering if right. Kiwi Farms is still up. Is Kiwi Farms still... It, it, does, any, does anybody know if Kiwi Farms is still there? The demon website. The devil's own. I was just wondering. Uh, you know, the, uh, the doxing website. For those who are here, let's pull up the Wikipedia real quick. Oh, uh, for those who don't know, for the uninitiated, Kiwi Farms, formerly known as CWC Key Forums, Quickie, is a web forum that facilitates the discussion and har Quickie. harassment of online figures and communities. Right. If you cared about, if you care about harassment being facilitated, Alec Gunter, you did that by not hiding your source. You did that. Sorry, bro. Their targets are often subject to organized group trolling and stalking, as well as doxing and real-life harassment. These actions have tied Kiwi Farms to the suicides of three people targeted by members of the forum. And it goes on. We caught him sitting at the Nazi table. You caught him wondering if it's gone and potentially looking at the website so far is what you've caught him doing. Okay. Also, I hate to tell you, Probably some neo-Nazis using Kiwi Farm, sure. Bro, it's anyone who's interested in gossip. It's a fucking gossip site. I don't understand that people don't get this. It can be super toxic. But it's not really more toxic than the magazines you can buy at the checkout. It's not... If it's worse in any way, it's not much worse. It's just more e-celebs than real-life celebs. We caught him sitting at the Nazi table. So somebody says, IDK, you're the lol cow, you tell me. To which he replies, I'm literally just a normal person who's done a few fun posts. Oh, I see, he's just a funny little guy, he's just a normal little guy. You might be wondering, why, why would someone who isn't a Nazi go on Kiwi Farms? Kiwi Farms, if you ever see some sort of drama, like I don't lurk Kiwi Farms and wait for stuff to come there. When I go to Kiwi Farms, it's because there's been some sort of weird drama on social media, and I can't tell what the fuck is happening. So I go to Kiwi Farms and see if there's a thread to learn what's happening. I think whether I was left, right, middle, up, down, if I was gay, if I was trans, just being online, seeing something happen, gives you a reason to look at Kiwi Farms. Just a normal little guy, okay? Authoritarian libertarian, not that kind of top bottom. But regardless of whether it was a top or a bottom. Not a super progressive place. I literally got linked to a Kiwi Farms thing as a result of like all of this stuff going on. So I logged in, not logged in. I don't have an account or nothing, but I, <laughs> I don't have an account. Oh, I don't have an account. Oh, I, I, I opened the page for the first time today. And let me tell you guys. Caught him sitting. We caught Alec Gunter sitting at the Nazi table. It doesn't matter if you only have one snack. 
It doesn't matter if you only have one snack with the Nazis, okay? If you eat a single bagel with the Nazis, it's over. I'm sorry, Alec. Not a place I want to be. No thanks. No, th I don't even frankly want it on my history that I was ever there. <laughs> no thanks. Now, I will say this. There are absolutely progressive reasons to go there. If it's the, if it's the beating heart of cyber violence against the vulnerable, there's absolutely a reason for progressive people to be there, is to see what the bad people are doing. You have an obvious reason to look. Trans people go on there often, yeah. so that they can check whether or not they've been doxxed. I have bad news for you. As someone who I'm sure, I presume Alec Gunter is 100% on the trans women are women train, women love gossip. There are trans women on there for gossip. Don't be fucking delusional. Also, thank you for the gift sub, Evan Farva Salvo, please. To say trans people would not go to a gossip site for the gossip is to say that they are not women. That is transphobic. Okay, so if you know people who go, who like know about it, don't get, and they're like trans or non binary or whatever, they might be doing shitty stuff on there. Don't get me wrong, they could. Yeah. But they're also victims, and they have a right to know what's being posted about them on there, okay? But then doesn't that extend to literally anyone with any online presence who's curious? You've given everyone an excuse. So, calling it the Nazi table has been undone by saying, essentially, anyone has a, has a reason to go there. Bro, this is sad. Just stop. Dude, are you- <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? Oh, probably YouTube chat. I don't have the YouTube chat on this. Card? Thing. Are you literally card? <laughs> he thinks anyone who thinks he's cringe is card. Oh, I should have done this without my face to see if he'd think I'm card. He's in the walls. He's in the trees. He's Australian. He's a drop bear. If you want to come on, you can. Offer's still open, man. This is such a bad... If he'll believe anyone is card... That's so risky to him. I flinch every time he said that. Granted, he's only said that twice. If you went in his chat and pretended to be card and then added him on Discord, would he let you onto his stream? That's such a fucking vulnerability. Does he get how vulnerable he is if he'd fall for that? You wanna hop on? Let's have a talk. Let's have a chat. I'll stop right now. I'll stop. No? Okay, fuck you then. All right, let's keep going. So, I'm literally just- a, he's just a normal little guy. He's just a normal little guy. I'm just a small man, you can't hit me. So, Nicandros has edited this. I imagine it will become apparent why this is censored. All right, here we go! Here we go, folks! We've gotten to it! Here's the grand finale! The, not the grand finale, the- It's not over after this! Just- uh, This is about, uh, uh, you know... This is where we start hitting real high speeds here. This is the first! The first official Kiwi Farms post we have from Mr. Charles Nguyen. Okay. <laughs> Nguyen! That's the best part of this video. Nguyen. Neon Genesis Nguyen. <sighs> the pattern. Is the pattern Asian? Mr. Charles Nguyen. Now, why is this important? Who's Charles Nguyen? If that's how you pronounce it. I don't know how to pronounce that last name. Sorry. Yeah, we is could tell. Or something. <clears throat> no, it is not it. It is not it. All right. So he posts this on Kiwi Farms. Now, how do I know that this is him? Let's go over how I know that this person is him. Okay. Let's look at this one first, actually. I ordered them wrong. I found a YouTube slap fight going on between two different flavors of low tier bread tube autist. And then it gives us this picture and a direct link. Is it a fellow card versus Gunter enjoyer? Interesting. Let's type in the direct link, shall we? YouTube.com slash watch question mark V equals H T Y dash zero. Also, can I get a mod in uh, YouTube to ban that fuck hole? Thank you. Uh, zero fuck hole, bro. You can't talk about women like that. Three F Q U seven eight. Where is that? This that URL sounds really familiar to me take us it's not available anymore and well hold the fuck up why is it not available anymore that's interesting boy when i checked earlier today then i could have sworn this brought me to the uh 
the video. <laughs> Damn. The link worked when I posted it on Kiwi Farms. I'm just kidding. That isn't me. <laughs> <laughs> Let me make sure I type. Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I didn't type it right. My bad. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> my bad, my bad, my bad. Hold up. You've got the link in chat. That's Limbo of the Lost. Fuck you. Wait, is it not available anymore? Yeah, it redirects to seven and it's not available anymore. That's okay. We can we can do this. Hold on. Oh no. Okay, never mind. Oh he's been influenced. He's been influenced by the story of the little girl. Now he's threatening to shit himself. So that we'll all stop. Let's see, that's not the one. Here we go. Perfect. Per this better not be my VOD. Perfect. Let's <laughs> see if the URLs match, shall we? Let's see if they match here. Let's go. YouTube.com slash watch question mark V equals HTY dash zero three FQU seven eight. Perfect. Hey, look at that. Easy. There he is. Is this a viewer of the stream? Because it could. The Kiwi farmer could easily just be a viewer here who became aware of it because of me. Quite easily. Because remember, Alec, Gunter, and Card don't know that we're watching this stuff. I'm sure that won't last forever. There you are, buddy. There you are, buddy, here. We got a mod in YouTube chat. All right, hold on. Ah, uh, the Kiwi Farm user has a lot of knowledge of this slash LGBT stuff. That suggests it is Card. Okay. Or true. Or someone else who's someone just aware of card because they're there. Let's see what the evidence is. I take care of something. Let's see what the evidence is. There we go. Okay, Queen Laura, thank you. There he is. The account does stalk a lot of the LGBT trip frogs, which includes card. So it could just be that they do know about card. There he is. The birthday boy himself, there he is. Everyone say hello to Mr. Card. Now, why is this important, you might ask? Well, if you recall, he had... <laughs> he had some interesting alt accounts, didn't he? Some very interesting alt accounts. Let's revisit them, shall we? From Bone China Chloe, remember that? And David Chang Yue. Now we can add Charles Nguyen to the roster. Nguyen. Oh, a new character has entered. The whole gang's here, everybody's here. <laughs> I wouldn't use that as your evidence. That's a sprinkle on top at most. Na, 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 na. Isn't that great, everybody? Everybody's here. It's awesome. Archive them all now. <laughs> Alec Gunter goes to pick up the Chinese takeaway. And he's like, yeah, oh, thanks for your order. By the way, we're, we're a new Chinese in the area. I'm Mr. Wing Yip. And Alec's heart just starts fucking racing. And he's like... It's you! It like tries to rip off the fake mask. Tell me the friend guy's actually a piece of shit. Oh, you haven't been here, have you? Uh, rewind the VOD if you want to know. <laughs> okay, so here he is. So I have pretty solid confirmation that this is- I know it's not Chinese Zera, but the other one was, was what, what, Bone China Chloe? And the first one, the first name, UN? Something UN is like Chinese, right? Is in fact him, and if you want proof, let's- if you want further evidence, let's read this in his voice. Secretive female to male discord and Twitter cabal that is behind most of Reddit and 4chan's p-word threads. Now, if you don't know what that word means, it's basically, I don't know if it's a slur or not, I've been told conflicting things, I'm not- Wait. In his voice. Secretive female to male discord and Twitter cabal that is behind most of Reddit and 4chan's p-word Threads. Now, if you don't know what that word means, it's basically, I don't know if it's a slur or not. I've been told conflicting things. I'm not going to say the word, but it is a, uh, it basically means female to male. P, P word threads. Probably produces okay. most art currently out there. A lot of it about themselves being raped, right? If you did browse 4chan's LGBT female to male general, general thread, for which he's on a lot, by the way, I forgot to mention that. He very frequently is on LGBT, okay? Very important to note. He didn't do, um, actually he did do some weird shit on there, but it was under an- Do we know that Card isn't trans? 
Aiden, he's trying to do a fucking Australian accent. Which is still kind of British, but whatever. It's worse. Anonymous name, and therefore I can't prove it. We're going to go over that later. Uh, general thread for any amount of time at all, you'll see one group in... Yeah, look, okay, yeah. I know, I know card is, is non-binary or whatever is useful at any given moment. But you know what I mean. Particular get referenced quite a bit by people in the know. The P-word bin. This is a closed group of power user female to males who coordinate to post threads there and produce immense amounts of art. A lot of- I would- if you told me that word and told me it was a slur, I would guess it's towards, like, Indians. ...of which appears to be about its members being assaulted and abused. Yeah, true answer. By the way, this is the video that's meant to annihilate card posting and nip his channel in the bud. I'm not seeing it. Presumably, creating this sort of stuff is like a digital self-harm, as other users in this thread have already described it. Most of these P-word bin users is, the most visible of these P-word bin users is blank, who has, who this thread has already covered. So, you can see by the way that he's typing, okay? Sounds like David Attenborough. It is similar, similarly written to how Card talks. I agree with that analysis. Immediately accidentally says it. Did I say it? I didn't say the word. Nice move. If I said the word, I apologize. So anyway, I'm not going to say it from here on out. But you can tell it's his, it's his fucking voice, right? Like it's his cadence. This is his scripts. This is exactly how he writes on top of all the other evidence we've gathered. So I think that I can say of beyond a reasonable doubt that Beyond a reasonable doubt, no, I wouldn't say it meets that standard. I'd say it's it's not unreasonable to guess that it, it could well be him. I wouldn't say beyond a reasonable doubt it is him. This is in fact him. This is our boy, Card. This is Card posting. He is on Kiwi Farms. We have caught him sitting at the Nazi table. You understand? Okay? So we didn't catch him in uniform, but we caught him sitting at the Nazi table. So let's keep going. So he has some interesting folders that he's posted on LGBT and all that. Now, I can't show you guys the folders, but I do, in fact, have the folders right. in my in my DMs. OK, and I can verify that they're there. This is all I can show you for now. These are folders that he himself has posted on using his trip code. I believe I could be wrong about that on 4chan. OK, LGBT thousands of years ago, I would something have been dealing with suicidal thoughts, blank docs. That's a name, by the way. Blank's docs, okay? Right. So he What's just has like a folder with somebody's docs in it. Okay? I mean, this is all adding up. Does he? Did you look? You have, an, you have a screenshot here. Do you really mean you literally have the folders? They forced me to do this. Bear in mind, Card is also a leftist and has said things. One thing that is fair that I don't think is a criticism gunter would come up with i don't think gunter will go here i very much think some of what gunter has card would jump on if it was someone else we i think that i've fairly verified that this man is in fact on kiwi farms and is probably interested in posting people's doxes there yes i think that we verified that but if you, if that was not enough for you if that was not enough let's see <laughs> it gets worse. I reached out to an organization that he has been known to affiliate with. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I will not say who because of uh, confidential reasons. So I reached out to them. I said, hey, do you know about this card guy? Um, I would Are you ready for this one? This is the one I think I had spoilered. Spoilered? Spoiled. I didn't put a car spoiler on it. You know what I'm saying? I was wondering about him because I was looking at uh, pictures on his Instagram and I noticed that he's affiliated with you. You won't name them, but does he understand that he just did by telling us where exactly where we can find them? You just told us if we go to his Instagram, we'll see who they are. What do you mean? So you don't care about the privacy. Like you've done it. And the, uh, somebody reached back out and said, yeah, don't, don't associate with him, please. He literally asked me not to make a video on him. He said, this guy's like, you don't have to keep that private because it's fucking public shit. 
but don't say you like you're gonna, in the interest of respecting their privacy or whatever. You're not going to name them and then tell us where to get it. Do one or don't, like, hide it or don't hide it. You can do either, but what have you done here, you fucking retard? It just annoys me. Really bad. It is really bad, and don't make a video on him. So let's go over why. I messaged him, and he, I got permission to share these DMs, okay? Cool. So this is a DM leak that I have permission to share. Let's go over them, shall we? So he, he's the block right here, and I'm the A, obviously. Yep, okay, so let's cut right to it. Skip down, skip down. I feel this info makes the video about Card that much more important to put out. He's attempting to build a platform and infiltrate what's known as the bread tube space. He's attempting to infiltrate what's known as the bread tube space? Alec Gunter's like ill. <laughs> it's on YouTube. Basically just a bunch of lefty video essayists. He's built up a fall. He's gonna scoop out our soft interior, leaving an empty crust. People are taking him seriously, and I want to nip his channel in the bud before he can establish himself any further. There! That's where he says it. Want to nip his channel in the bud before he can establish himself any further. To protect BreadTube from infiltration. So before we continue, I want to come out, come to an understanding on why I still need, I feel it, I need to put this video out. He says, yeah, when I first messaged, I was anti-continuing to engage with him, but I've done more searching since. And I replied, yeah, great, we're on the same page. He says the issue is his utter insanity combined with the Kiwi Farms thing. So there we go. We have a went to the website of the right. org in question and emailed them via the website. Via the website. Okay? Right. If anybody okay, if anybody at this point is pro card, they are card. Ban them. If any If anyone's pro card, they are card, ban them. He's in the walls. He's in the walls. He's infiltrating bread tube. He's everywhere. Banned. Get the flamethrowers. He's in the trees. Anybody at this point in the YouTube chat is pro card. They are card. Ban them. Okay. I don't want that shit because I've proven now that, proven that he's on the website. I've proven that he's on the website. Because someone at an organization said Kiwi Farms thing. This clearly isn't your first convo, it looks like. Did you tell them about Kiwi Farms? So I'm gonna assume your fucking card. Yes, ban anyone that disagrees with me that card's on 4chan, or sorry, that card's on, uh, he's obviously on 4chan, but card's on um, the Kiwi Farms fucking doxing people. You're on YouTube doxing people, brother. <laughs> Accidentally, but we, we saw it. I kindly am playing a version that has that removed, but you didn't when you streamed it. Just saying. That's crazy to me, though. Ban anyone who disagrees that card is on Kiwi Farms doxing people. My standards are like, if you break TOS and that's going to be a problem for fucking me being on the website, you get stabbed. If you do something like link to a kind of pizza, you're nuked forever. Like, if, if, you, if you post something TOS and it's like a slip and you're not deliberately trying to get me flagged, you get like a timeout. If you do it over and over again, die. But that's pretty much it. I have proven nothing. I've proven that you don't deserve to be in my chat. Goodbye. I don't deserve to be in my chat. No one deserves to be in my chat because it's considered torture. It's uh, considered a war crime to subject a prisoner to it. He says, man, where do I start? Let me dip. Oh, sorry. I said that. <laughs> my bad. All right. Let's keep going. So I told him what I got. I gather that he's on 4chan and on Ki Kiwi Farms quite a bit. I have hard evidence that he's on Kiwi Farms along with allegations that he's doxed and- Hard evidence? I wouldn't call what you have hard evidence. You have some evidence that it may well be him. Harass and stalk people. The evidence for this is compelling, but not 100%. That's the most incriminating stuff I've gathered. He's also posted things like, want to hear how I harassed a gay guy to death. Just real freak shit. Post things like, want to hear how I harassed a gay guy to death. What he said was weird enough, you don't need to change it. He said, do, do whatever he was asking to have done, and maybe I'll tell you about the story I... A story of the time I inadvertently bullied a gay guy to death. It's one trans female to male Discord server shut down. I forgot to mention that part. He got a, a, a Discord server shut down. Now, what happened with that is... He showed us that at the start. Basically, he had asked people to post... Like he, he, oh yeah, that one thing where he said, um, I didn't show that picture, did I? I have a screenshot where he asks somebody to draw him and then they do. 
and it's not very flattering for good reason. And so we got them shut down, uh, which sucks because, you know, I mean, they were doing some unsavory stuff in there, but it was all consensual. So it just sucks. It just sucks. Where can female to male people go to gather? Where can they go to gather a discord server? A discord server, and he got uh, it fucking shut down. Fuck you, man. This is the server where the person who told him about it at the start said they had to leave because of the racism. Fuck you. Christ. Just disgusting. I'll identify as trans female to male. Yeah, suck on this, okay? How about you identify as get the fuck off the internet? Nobody likes you. All right, moving on. You have his Kiwi Farms username. I want to see if he's posted about people he knew on here. Charles and Guyan. I can send you screenshots if you want. I said, hey. So we have this, this claim here. This, the organizer activist stuff is bullshit, by the way, from someone he supposedly worked with that you can link to him. This is probably the best thing he has. Is he going to use it effectively? Card starts every video talking about how he's an organizer. Then I show the uh, email that I sent to Card because I did attempt to reach out to him for, for the record. I oh. tried. Card, in case you were wondering, I did watch the video and I do have some thoughts, but that's not the crux of what this comment is about. First off, I want to assure you that I am coming to you in good faith. I understand you have done real progressive work in your community. He highlights this part. Why? The organizer activist stuff is bullshit, by the way. He was in some orgs for- It's good, right? For me, for the rest of my life, it's Nguyen. A short time, but- No, not Nguyen, it's Nguyen. But didn't actually do any work. Ah. <sighs> It's so good. It's so good. This I'm going to tell you guys. Before I reached out to this now man. More. This was today, by the way. This happened this morning. This morning. And before I reached out to him, I was okay. fully ready to give him the benefit of the doubt on that one thing. That one thing. Irredeemable. Absolutely irredeemable. Holy shit. Just insane, man. Right. You've got someone who hates him, right? I want to stress, I do have the receipts. If, if somebody needs to verify them, I can do that. But this is all supposed to remain anonymous. So I, I'm not going to go giving this out willy-nilly, okay? Let's keep going. So I send him the Charles Nguyen thing. I say the link to his late... He linked to the video on me and him. So the, clearly this stuff's recent. Highly unlikely this is someone posing as him because he, he is known to have alt accounts. We've already been over all this, blah, blah, blah. I just It's pretty good. It's pretty good, Nick Andros. Nice sense. Explaining to him the things that I've explained to you guys so far. Yeah, yeah. He says, I'm looking through his posts now, fucking obsessed with trans men. And that is true. And that's why he wrote that book the way he did. He still sees trans men as just tomboys. He sees them as tomboys. And that's his fantasy. All right. I've ascertained that that book is his fantasy taken to 99%. Or like 90% maybe. Well, yeah. and it gets worse when you look at some experts playing his book. He fetishizes tomboys. So yeah, we just go over that. <laughs> Everyone, so here, uh, here's a Tomboy, tomboy chaser. Um, can we, can we linger on this? Gunter Braggs says, I screen cap my favorite bits, including some samples of his atrocious grammar, since he felt the need to insult my intelligence. Didn't know confidant was a word conceded that it wasn't a misspelling of confident when in fact it was it was wrong he didn't know that the incorrectly spelled word is a different word and then didn't understand that it's still wrong it's just a different word there are layers to the retardation so he actually emailed me and said he assaulted people Ooh. sorry all this Eight minutes from the end of an hour-long expose. All trans. In real life. So, uh, let's keep going. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry, can we go back? He didn't read this out word for word, did he? He read the first pages. Yeah, yeah. Everyone he assaulted was trans. Gunter says, oh, I believe it. This has Chaser written all over it. That's someone who's like super into trans people, right? If he weren't into trans people, he wouldn't bother with this progressive front. He's just trying to recruit victims. Oh my God, he's trying to recruit victims. It all adds up.
That's a massive accusation. That is a gigantic accusation. Let's listen to it again. All trans. In real life. So, uh, let's keep going. Are we gonna get details of what- details of the alleged assault? Wait, what? Wait! What?! So, here's a picture that I sent, uh... Oh yeah, you know, here it is! If you do a nice picture of me. Yeah, yeah, that was the one, never mind. So then we talk about, like, how, you know, people drew pictures of him raping people. Alec was considering skipping this. Dog. That, you know, it was not savory, but like, I'm sorry, dude. Let's stack, right. you know, let's stack this, these two things against each other. You know what I mean? Wait, would he be okay with? What about the optics of drawing people you don't like raping people? What about those optics? What about the optics of going? Sorry, the optics in a progressive space. Me personally, MS Paint doodle of rape, I don't care whatsoever. But I'm just thinking. In a, in a progressive space, optics to be appealing to lefties. No, don't report a server where you're being drawn as a rapist. Queer person being drawn as a rapist. No. Let's keep mm. going. Now, remember when I said to remember the gay thing, right? Oh, I think I know what he might be talking about with the gay guy. Right. What do you mean by that? Grief over death of young liberal Win Wilson Gavin after drag queen protest. Death Wilson Gavin. President of University of Queensland's Liberal National Club, who was a staunch conservative and gay, died a day after disrupting a library story time event. Is this going to start being even more ridiculous? What's this? So he was referencing a real event. Was he, though? Was he referencing this? A real event. Trying to take credit for it. That's the other person's guess that he did that. I will say, Hex, if Card genuinely internet argued someone to death, that's fucking tight. But, so we're on 5355. Can I get to... I don't know if I'm going to be able to get to the original showing of the... Was it after the story time? I think it may be an after the story time. Ah! Here's the, here's the message. If you do a nice picture of me, I'll tell you all about the time I might have inadvertently cyberbullied a gay guy at my university to death. Also, that adds another layer to this. All right, let's keep going. Now, remember when I said to remember the gay thing, right? Yeah, it's, the, it's oh, the picture's right here. Oh, I think I know what he might be talking about with the gay guy. What do you mean by that? Right. Grief over death of young liberal Win Wilson Gavin after drag queen protest. So he was referencing a real event. A real event. Consider if he's correct that this is what Card was referring to. He may have just revealed Card's university. If that wasn't already revealed. That might already be public knowledge. Let me check Card Posting's website. I just want to be clear on what's occurring. Does he does he say? Control F. Que no mention of Queen on his main page. Is there a is there a more about me page? Probably shows on his Instagram. Anyway, it's not it's not that big a deal. Because it seems absurd to accept your contact's guess that he's talking about this. As evidence that yes, Card was talking about this, rather than making some shit up, for instance. Can I check something, please? How old are these Discord messages? When was the today being referenced? So here's a picture that I sent. Oh yeah, you know, here it is. If you do a nice picture of me. Yeah, yeah, that was the one. Never mind. So then we talk about like how, you know, people drew pictures of him raping people. Because, yeah, this, this guy who killed himself, this happened in January 2020. Card is 24. Okay. People that, you know, it was not savory, but like, I'm sorry, dude. Let's stack, you know, let's stack this, these two things against each other. You know what I mean? All right, let's keep going. Now, remember when I said to remember the gay thing, right? Oh, I think I know what he might be talking about with the gay guy. Hang on. Card...
what's can you remind me what that website that had his his info and about him as an author the profile the profile page something australia something australia page in yeah in John David Card is writer. Da, 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 da. Oh my god. He has an article from 6th September 2023 called Right Wing American Film and Music Imports Pose Danger. That's pretty incredible. No no details about his age, because he doesn't necessarily give his real age in on Discord, right? What do you mean by that? Grief over death of young liberal Win Wilson Gavin after drag queen protest. Oh no, does he think Liberal as in liberal, liberal. Oh, no. What's this? So he was referencing a real event. A real event. Trying to take credit for it. What the fuck, man? He, was, he probably concocted a story from this. Some of the trans people he was obsessed with had a funny clip on the news of them heckling this guy a few years before a suicide. Now, noted, this guy... It Ryan. So he's not going to fall for that mistake. Some people Card obsessed over heckled him. Card wasn't even living in the city at the time. So Card's talking about it being inadvertent because he was heckling someone at an event. Was, he he, he a wasn't a good guy, and so these trans people were making fun of him, right? He was like a, a right-winger. He was a conservative, right? And so, like, he's not a good guy. So some trans people that Card happened to be obsessed with was apparently heckling him for that. I don't think it's a good thing to do. Don't, don't, just don't do that. Don't heckle people to death it's not don't heckle people to death dog you one of your proudest clips is essentially you heckling matt walsh why can't you fucking heckle people uh you know engaging in political show doing events trying to make a statement why the fuck not now what did this have to did his suicide have to do with their heckling i don't think so because apparently it took place several years later the guy clearly had some internalized issues going on he was not perfect okay but point is, Card took uh, 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 credit for this man killing himself. Did he? We, it seems like it could be this. This gay man, okay? And he's very, he seems proud of it to me. Seems This is gay man. Hmm. Pretty damn proud of it. All right? Which is weird. Really fucking weird. That just, all that tells me is that he would do that. You mean he would heckle a conservative? Probably, yes, probably he would. Or do you mean he would kill a man who's gay just because they're gay? What do you mean he would do that? Okay. Either that or he's making a very crude joke. And I'm frankly, I don't feel like giving him the benefit of the doubt anymore. I agree. Card would almost certainly be willing to heckle a uh, right winger. Yes. So you can see this is basically just everything that I've said here. From what I've gathered, the stories Card tends to tell uh, uh, tend to be based on a real story, but pretty much everything he says about himself is a lie. Holy fuck. Card posting is genuine. He actually is Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. He actually is the Joker. To which I reply very geniusly. Well, it's much easier to pull from reality than to fabricate. I mean, just look at his lies compared to his fictional works. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Anyway, let's keep going. Um... Make it as anon as possible. Very geniusly. Well, I'm still sick that he'd even think that. Well, it's much easier to pull from reality than to fabricate. I mean, just look at his lies compared to his fictional works. <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Anyway, let's keep going. Um, make it as anon as possible. Well, you've told us where we can find what org it is. Let me... Real story, but... Uh, Pretty much everything he says about himself is a lie. To which I reply very geniusly. Yeah, yeah, A lot of it is Card would probably know it could have only come from a few people. May I name the union, or would you prefer me to just say an unnamed union? The more info I can share, the more plausible this will all be. But I won't overstep. Is there anything you've shared that you don't want on the record? Community org or something like that. Sure, I can do that. An anonymous community organizer. Or, you know, he could come on and tell you that if you go to Card's Instagram, you'll find the org. Very smooth. Make it as anon as possible. 
So yeah, community org. Okay, and then I got permission from him. Okay, the main things are he's attempted to rape at least a few people. We have rape accusations. So in the last five minutes, bang, multiple, multiple rape accusations, bang, bang, multiple rape accusations. Almost everything he says about himself online is bullshit based on true stories or other people. So like he'll have a few pics of himself from protests and say he was an organizer. I'd say, why is this person going like the last? They're just, as a little note, by the way, he's a multi-rapist. He's a loser and a wimp IRL. When he was- Does, does this not immediately call into question your, like, your- does Alec not go, oh, wait, this person just really fucking hates him and wants a YouTuber with any kind of audience to say bad things about him? Maybe I can't 100% just trust everything this person is saying. He was told to fuck off out of the city. He was so scared he couldn't physically talk. He got his mom to drive like three hours to pick him up and take him home. <laughs> Jesus. Jesus. Call back a little bit. What do we have here? Just show me what it'll look like when censored. So he shows this. All right. Okay, and then this is something that he sent me from uh, uh, a chat. Okay. Yeah, but he's not using a trip code anymore. But you can still tell he you can still tell because he keeps posting his shitty videos. Mm -hmm. If you don't know what a trip code is on 4chan, that means it's basically just a self ID. It's an ID. All right, so that people know it's you. Um. There's a weird fake trip poster now that's probably still card. Somebody replied. All right. Someone sent me a video what he made where he was talking about his projects over the last year or so, and it was just lies, lol. I don't know if you've seen it, but claims he was longtime contributor to a student newspaper and shit. Fantasy World. That's really funny. So yeah. We might be able to find that. If I was Gunter, I'd really want to try and verify that. Because that is so easy to respond to. There are massive claims made by this source. I can't believe we just skipped over, like Alec isn't saying anything more. Card, card posting in this video, Alec Gunter is just presenting this, so he's co-signing on it, an accusation of multiple rape attempts. I, Alec seems not to have felt the gravity of what he's just shared. Very strange. If any of this is true, Card is a terrible criminal. And you wouldn't want it to be undermined by, for instance, claims that he never he was never a contributor to a student newspaper. Fantasy, fantasy. What if he was? If he was and your source is wrong, Card can literally just show. And then your whole little shit castle falls apart. You have to be so careful. Crazy. Yeah, that's how he got his job at the Australian Independent, who, by the way, um, I will not support unless they get rid of this fuckhead. So Australian Independent, if you're watching, this guy's on your team. Right. You've just shared an accusation of multiple rapes. And now you're pointing to somewhere he writes for and presumably is paid by. Card posting is a weird guy, and his videos suck. But this fucking cretin is essentially trying to take his source of income on the ultimately due to to being called slack jawed and being called a soy new male bug man by card card posting, and he got stung by that. Uh, this is extremely disgusting, in my opinion. Uh, and if he was worried about good optics, these are some of the worst, worst, worst optics imaginable. A lot of people, if they see this, will think Alec Gunter is a very evil individual. Wait, that thing about him being on the Australia news team is BS? Independent Australia? Oh, that's really him. Someone needs to tell them to stop publishing him. Yes, that noob next door, in case you missed it. Alec Gunter's source from an organization Card works at, well, Card worked with, even, 
has claimed that Card attempted multiple rapes and needs to no longer have his job. Gunter says, well, looks like a job for this guy, Lamau. I don't know if it's even worth it. Once this video comes out, he's straight fucked anyway. I'll be live around 4 to 5 Eastern time if you want to see me record it. Also, would you happen to know how old Card is? He claims he's 24. Sorry, hang on. That's a screen cap of Card Posting's mother. To verify his age, I guess. That rubs me really fucking weird and wrong. I get that it's censored. That's really weird. That's... This is a point where I'd say I was shown something that verified it. Yeah. Um, let me check something. It's at least not super easy to get to that post from the text that's in the post. It's potentially someone who is Facebook friends with his mother. Oh no, that's a public post. One of the reasons this is really bad, I doubt it's TOS, but if you know, you know why that's very bad. That he's honest about. Is his age. Stop. Also, he smells like shit 24-7. <laughs> Just, you know, as an addendum, he smells like shit. Yeah. If everything else was not bad enough, the dude smells like absolute fucking vile shit. Isn't that fantastic? Isn't that lovely, everybody? Isn't that lovely? What's the conclusion of all this? Where does this leave us? Still not even... Not even the slightest inkling that this person has extreme personal beef that might be coloring the information you're getting. Not weird that the evidence you're given for his age is a screen capture of a Facebook post from his mother? That's fucking weird, dude. This all started because I decided to look at a dog whistle video from Mr. John David Cart. All I wanted was to have an honest and open conversation with the guy about his methods and the things that he's saying and the way that he presents himself. That's all I wanted. And honestly, I was ready to leave this alone. I was. Okay? I was completely ready to leave this alone. Um, and you can see that in my comment on my video. I have a pinned comment on my latest, um, the second video in the trilogy, okay? But um, something about him just, after that response video of his, just, it, dig, it dug itself into my head. That's my terminology, I knew, yeah. Soy, new male, bug man, slack jaw. And I could not get rid of it. I have yeah. a screenshot to Tina where I say, I can't get this guy out of my head. <laughs> this was before I knew anything. Okay? Something bothered me about him. And then, I, and then the comments started pouring in. They started saying, hey, I know who Card is. I know this guy. I have 23 alternative accounts, exactly. And then I started digging. And it didn't take much. This is not that deep, okay? It's not that deep. It's not that hard to piece all this together. So I'm not a genius for doing this. Although I will say that I'm smarter than Card, at least. At least I don't leave bread uh, uh, breadcrumbs, right? I don't even do this shit in the first place, but at least if I did, I'd be smarter about it than this. Mm. So what does this all boil down to, folks? Well, I have a theory, and I think it's a very good one. Oh. I think that John David Card is a groomer. I think that he is- ah! I ain't even gonna say anything yet. He's attempting to start his own cult of, uh, of supporters, largely trans supporters, right? Um, I think that he wants to build up an audience of trans people that he can then manipulate, take advantage of, and perhaps even in a sexual way. And so that's why I feel it's not, this is not personal. It is a little personal, but the main point of this is not personal. I do not want shitheads like this infiltrating our good leftist space. No. Cast you out into the cold, my friend. None of that here. You're a piece of shit. I hate you. And you shouldn't have called me a fucking slack jaw, dumbass. And that's that. That's fucking... That is appalling. <laughs> Uncritically repeats from someone that Card is a multiple times attempted rapist directly accuses him of being a groomer looking for victims, looking to build a trans audience. 
Wait, what does Card do? Does he like show a trans flag all the time in his videos? Does he have like a trans flag shirt in all his videos? Is he How, in what is he way retarded? is Card is specifically appealing to trans people? Uh, I think that was pretty good. Okay. Before we continue, I'm going to end stream for just a moment, but stream is not over yet, my friends. I need to end stream, go back and edit that ASAP before anybody shares it because I do not want personal information being leaked. None of it is anything that could get anybody doxxed or in trouble, and I do have a backup method in case that shithead decides to go after somebody. But, um, yeah, I just want to make- In case he decides to go after someone. Yeah, maybe fucking legally. <laughs> make sure that we're all good. So I'm going to end stream momentarily. Momentarily, I'll be right back. Just bear with me for a little bit, okay? I will be right back. So don't go anywhere. Peace out for now, everybody. Yeah, that's what this escalated to. That's what this escalated to. Sorry, top top comments of Jubilee. On his Jubilee appearance, the top comments are, I think we all found a middle ground of absolutely hating Alec. We have Alec was the most unifying person in the circle. He brought conservatives and liberals together to despise him. Alec is a shining example of someone who does not listen and just wants to talk over someone when they are speaking. Yeah, I see my, my view counter is at one person. One person. I know you're here, John David Card. <sighs> if it says one person, it's only you. Wow. That was a, uh, that was a journey. A journey ending in a car crash. In terms of serious stuff, though, uh, that is, that is, that is going to be it. We're moving on to some more Steam Next Fest demos, and I'm going to go pee. By the, by the way, don't expose my existence. Don't expose my existence. Alec Gunter's edited version of what we just watched goes live in three minutes. As a premiere on his fucking channel, dude. Right. Oh. What a roller coaster.